that's ridiculous. <laughs> what soldier be fool enough to enter a cavern full of unstoppable flamoids from another dimension? Uh, the Doom Marine? Yeah, that guy. I'm from Chex Mix Squadron, and I volunteer. <laughs> okay. Same coordinates for adventure. Look, the ship looks like a little check square. <laughs> I guess in terms of promotional material, it's it's good advertising for the company. This game single-handedly made me eat checks. <laughs> That's now gross. I Watch now I love boys. checks. Fred Chexter has arrived. My breakfast cereal is checks. So this is Doom, you say? It's so the original one was Doom. Um. I'm pretty sure that no, they did not just reskin the most recent Doom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking faces open with as a. Oh, I gotta. Sorch him! Sorch him! Got him! Okay, that's. I feel stronger. I didn't think it was possible. Yeah, so the original one, they just. they It was just a Doom reskin. I can't remember if this game was free or not. I'm assuming so. It's it's free advertising, so maybe, but uh, this one was free. This doesn't look like it's a high pr high quality production. It, it's you know it's decent enough, but it's got the Chex Mix logo on the bouncing at the top of my screen. Yeah, I, I don't I don't much care for my computer being used like this. General Mills. Bust a cap and bust a nut. <laughs> bust a cap and bust a nut as I shoot the Zorcher. <laughs> Mimi Likey says. Uh, Chex Quest was invented in 1996 by the federal government to keep the people docile and ignorant. You know, that's probably right. Code Jason asks, are we all right? Has solitary quarantine forced us into insanity? Yes. No, apparently Zach was already insane and enjoyed this. Ugh. It seems very simplistic, easy enough to deal with. Oh, wow, there's actual cutscenes now. What even is this? They really put effort into what is basically just advertising. Yeah, I remember I played so much of this game when I was like, when I was like growing up. Um, oh, look out! Because it, it's a, it's a. Ah! You didn't see that one there? <laughs> nope. <laughs> because this game was just a free version of Doom, and it worked great. So this is not the same game you played back in the day. No, but it's it set like up. Got here early. It looks like breakfast got here early. Yes. Technically, that's true. Uh, well, again, it's not necessarily a breakfast cereal. Man, Vincent is like on point with uh, these quips. Yeah. Yeah, you know, with these quips. Hype. The hype is real. Is is this a hype thing though? Is Chex Mix a hype game for people? I don't know. For people my age, it is. H how old are you? Twelve. <laughs> this is this is very simplistic. This feels like something I would have been playing on the school's computers in the 90s. Probably. It probably would have been okay to play. Uh, Why are you doing this? <laughs> to, I have to destroy the Flemoids. I'm not sure if I should watch this or prep for D&D tonight. Meh, I suppose I could simply improv the entire session like normal. Some days you feel like doing nothing. That'll just leave you feeling empty. Greetings from Leesville, Louisiana, nearby home to Fort Polk. Oh my god, you're from Leesville? I also dislike Fort Polk, Zach. Says the Bayou Gamer. Oh my god, he's from Lee. I can't believe he's from Leesville. Is the, um, oh, uh, what is it? Oh god. Uh oh, oh my god, I'm out of ammo! You, you run out of ammo in this game? I didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah, there's other weapons. By the way, the Bayou Gamer gave us 10,000 10, bits, so, or what? 1,000 bits? Thank you. Uh, yeah, Fort Polk, Leesville, Louisiana. I've never been to Louisiana. Yeah, Leesville's pretty freaking terrible. All right, I gotta use the spoon. Why do you have, like, a, like the knife or something? Yeah. You're gonna take damage when you try and use the spoon. Yeah, I had to use the spoon. I had no choice. <laughs> you call that a knife? This is a knife. Nope, it's a spoon. Nope, that's a spoon. I see you played knifey spoony before. <laughs> that one's got arms! Look out, that one's got a whole... Whole limb system going on. That's all right, he's gone. Oh yeah, I only have three shots left for my Zorcher. Zorcher, all right. Oh, wait, I think I came in up here. Warning! It's all redacted, can't read I don't, it. I don't know what this is. What is this, an SCP project? Missiles fly over volcanoes. But yeah, I remember, I remember playing. What kind of scientist experiments have been going on here to give these things limbs? No, they're just- Oh God! Ones. Ah, got him! You got splorched. I got I got goop on me. Yeah, in the original one, you actually had like in the bottom, in the bottom of the screen, you actually had like the same thing. 
The but same I'm thing is uh, is Doom, where it was just like the little the little <laughs> checks man. Yeah. And the more damage you would take, the more slime he would get covered in. Nice. So the UI is different. Yeah. So this, they, this is basically a different game entirely. Pretty much, but it's it's still pretty much exactly the same as Doom originally was. Oh, okay. <laughs> or not Doom. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh, that one was kind of glitched. Look out! Oh, I got him. But yeah, I. If this is at all like it originally was, there should be. Excuse me. What's your question, Zach? Oh, you're asking something about Port Vulcan, uh, Leesville, Leesville? Oh, I was asking. I was trying to remember like what was in Leesville to say if it was still there, but um, Leesville's pretty terrible. Is there still like the little? Is there still the little tiny like shopping center right in front of Walmart? And did they ever actually improve the? Uh, did they ever actually improve the, um, the, like, Benihana the Japanese steakhouse that was there? <laughs> Is that the only thing you did? Go to Walmart and Benihana? Pretty much. <laughs> what the hell else am I supposed to do? Play video games in your room? You told me that Walmart was the only thing. You didn't tell me you had a Benihana. So you've been lying there was, to me. There was a Japanese steakhouse, but I think they closed it down for reasons. You've been playing up how bad Louisiana was, but they had a steakhouse, too. You've been lying to us, Zach. All right, so I came up How here. How great is Fort Polk in reality? It's pretty freaking terrible. <laughs> hey, Zach, is the AS Val your favorite gun? If not, what is? AS Val's pretty cool. What's my favorite gun? Yeah. That's a weird question. Does the MP5 trumpet? Ooh, uh, MP5 is up there as favorite guns. Oh, this is what opened. Is it better than the AS Val? Eh. I like the MP5 better, even though the MP5 is just a glorified pistol. <laughs> so it's fine. Um, favorite gun? I don't know, man. That's real hard. That's a real Sophie's choice for you, huh? Yeah, that's real hard to make that decision. I did forget. I did legitimately forget that one of the problems with uh, <laughs> one of the problems with this game is you have no map, so it's kind of hard to figure out where you're going. Uh, just follow the wall, I guess. Can I hit? Can I hit M for map? M opens the elevator door, apparently. Can I hit no. Maybe this is like Wolfenstein. I, you gotta check every, oh, every wall panel to see if there's a secret passage behind it. I hit, I hit I to open inventory like I was playing Destiny 2. <laughs> <laughs> get on the damn ship, apparently. I don't want to get on the ship. You can't make me. Is that what we have to do, though? I don't know. Maybe. Fort Polk sucks. The only good thing is the MWR. That's still shit. Yeah. Or maybe we do have to get on the ship. Let's go see. But yeah, there are other weapons in this game. There's different Zorchers. You get like a belt-fed Gatling gun Zorcher. All right. I'd be interested to see it. So you just get in the ship, then you take off and there's go to... Oh, there... <laughs> there's a blue key in there. <laughs> there is a blue door. Hmm. <laughs> so what's the difference between the ones that have... <laughs> Thank you, Marcus Chronicle, for the 275 bits. What is the difference between the armed guys and the guys who don't have arms? I think the armed guys can technically... Like, whack you? Are they stronger? They can, like, spit stuff at you. With their arms? I ooh, guess. Ooh, we're gonna, we're gonna... Stealth kill him. Stealth kill him. Stealth zorch him. <laughs> Shank him with a spoon. Go to Fiji! Go to Fiji! Go to Fiji! <laughs> Go to Fiji! <laughs> You're getting splatooned here! I almost died. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You have 11 health. Because he's, he's, he's soft. Your, your cereal's all stale oh, now, I guess. Nope. There, was some, there was a bowl of fruit. That gave me more health. <laughs> Instead of checks, you don't eat checks to gain health this game. What are you kidding? No, you are checks. Checks is so unhealthy, you have to eat fruit. As part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> I had to push back a dental appointment at the end of September, so I have a few extra bucks to spend. Yeah, I, I'm assuming a lot of people are pushing back their dental appointments. Why? Because uh, that's a situation where you're in close contact with somebody, breathing near them, face to face. I mean, there was everything got shut down for a couple months, so all the important surgeries had to be pushed back too. So I'm guessing the important surgeries, like root canals and stuff, take priority, and everyone else is getting bumped back. Nah, that's not true. I don't, if you say so, I don't know. I have no idea. Man, I don't know anything. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Let me zorch this I, nerd. Oh, you're getting double zorched. You're getting flanked. You're getting you're stalefied on all sides. No, I don't want to be soggy. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, there's a bowl of vegetables. Hopefully, Zach, Zach, when's the next mushroom watch? 
Uh, as soon as I find some good mushrooms to watch. I see. No, I can't. Ah! Ha ah! <laughs> ha! I escaped. Marcus says, uh, his dental, his dentist just changed their hours, and the appointment was set for their new closing time. Oh, okay. So the, we're gonna, they're gonna schedule you, you for an appointment at six o'clock. Just kidding. They're, they're, oh, I got too slimed. They're, they're, they're closing at five. Screw you. Watch out, Flemoids. Oh, he didn't even hit save point. No. Well, maybe I did. I guess you did because there's no key. Oh, you have to kill these guys to get the key again. Oh man. Oh, do I have to? Am I starting the whole level over? I, I guess think so. I am. All right, do it better this time. Don't die. All right, I'll do my best to not die. Oh. I guess they really can't have you eating checks, seeing as how there are so many people in the world made of checks. Yeah, yet you're just eating people at that point. So in this that sounds like Zap Brannigan. In this universe, checks doesn't exist as a food stuff. It's a race of people. I guess so. Well, and also, at the time this game came out, I don't think you could just go to the store and buy Chex Mix. I think you had to make Chex Mix. Y you sure? I think, oh, so you think that they actually just sold Chex as its own thing? You have to mix in pretzels and stuff? Yeah, you had to, like, make <laughs> I remember my mom used to make Chex Mix all the time. Whoa! How do I get in there? Well, how that, do I crouch? At maybe Control or C. Probably something stupid like that. But, you know, I, I make my own Lunchables. Doesn't mean they don't sell Lunchables. Ha <laughs> ha Ooh, it's Bazoic's sp spiciest newsletter. Greetings, gossip friend. Your old pal Chet here. Unlike those other news sources with our fact-checking debts or departments. Fact-checking well, departments. I'm back from my basement to bring you the hottest rumors and speculation on Bazoic. Make uh, sorry to interrupt you, but someone has an update on Fort Polk. It's apparently the same. They've got a GameStop and a Walmart is still open. And that's that's pretty much it. Okay. They, they have a roundabout at the highway. So Ooh. That's uh, something. <laughs> oh, did they finally finish that that highway that they were working on the entire time I was there? Yeah. They stopped sending money to the New Orleans Saints and started spending it on highway maintenance. No, they're still selling. They're, they still funnel all their money to the sports stadium. That's all they do. Just like our high school. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't worry, the high school, the new high school will be finished for you by the time you graduate. And then like 10 years later, after we had graduated, it still wasn't done. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. All right, we get the elevator. Is that a checkpoint? Is it like, like a manual save? Is that I a don't thing? know, can I? Nope. Nope, no just, manual save, just like the original one. Just don't screw up. Oh, there's some apples and bananas, I guess. Fun fact, you can have balanced breakfast without garbage cereals. You just have the fruit and the, the yeah. milk. I mean, fruit uh, breakfast cereals were just made by a guy who didn't want you to masturbate. Yeah, I, I could imagine the Chex Mix company and also the pizza was it Domino's company that has the Noid. You could combine these two and have these green guys and also the Noid coming after you. There was a Noid video game for the Sega Genesis. There was a video game mascot for everything, it feels there was, like. Um, there was a game that was called Cool Spot that was a 7-Up video game, I and that was that. actually a lot more fun than uh, than people remember it There being. was the Chester Cheeto game, where you played as the Cheetah from the Cheetos bag of orange gross wow. things. Go share some of them spoils? Hey, no! Thank you, Marcus. Marcus wants to know if you're going to share some of the spoils as he gives the sub to Jogador Plays. Thank you. Don't forget about Pepsi Man! Pepsi Man! I think the water is like armor, technically. The water is armor? Yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% positive on that one, to be honest. Water is armor. I don't understand that, but okay. There were, there were little things of water that I picked them up, and I think it was armor. Oh, okay, well, you, you do have 2% armor now. That guy doesn't know you're... Oh! <laughs> What's zapping me? What's zapping me? Oh god! Whoa! I'm being sent to another dimension! Were are they being beamed? To Earth! Great, thanks, dick. And, oh, what are we doing now? Open the spaceship, so now I can go in the spaceship and get the key. I feel like I should say the Latin word for thanks, but I don't know it. <laughs> Someone repaid me with some money they owed me earlier, so I want to share some wealth. Well, thank you, Marcus. What is what is the Latin word for thanks? <laughs> Probably along the lines of gracias. Seeing as how Latin led into a bunch of other uh, romance languages. 
Oh, well, there was a bunch of ammo up here that I didn't pick up last time. Grassi. So yeah, in, in, Gra Italian, grazi? in Italian it's grassi, in Spanish it's gracia, so it's gotta be something like that. Gracchi. I'm gonna guess that, like Latin for thanks is like gracchi or something like that. Probably. Haha! -ha! You're not getting me now, sucker! I just gotta wait for him to get distracted. Start reading some start reading some slime porn or something. Yeah. Ah, he wasn't distracted! You're, are, how much ammo do you have for that thing? It's getting... 75. Oh, it's, it's, it's uh, right up at the top, top uh, right. Yeah, top right, that's, yeah. That's, that's not where ammo co ca ammo counters normally are. I'll have to adapt that. But when I take this and do some speed running on the Chex Mix game, <laughs> when I become a pro Chex Mix player. See, now I got 90 ammo. Part of the Chex Mix League. Yeah, pro Chex Mix League? Yeah. Get some sponsors. I wonder who could sponsor us. Chex Mix and I are busy making games. <laughs> Turns out it's sponsored by Kellogg's Corn Flakes. <laughs> uh, gratias TV Valde. That, so that's pretty similar. Gratias. Thank you. Latin is a dead language. Nobody knows how to say anything in Latin. Yeah. Well, really, is it really dead if it carries on and it's, it's uh, children languages? Isn't isn't the isn't the definition of a dead language that nobody no it doesn't it's not evolving. I think it's just like if it's less than a certain amount of speakers, it's a dead language. Oh. I think that's the threshold. Just fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was coming from the game for a second. And I was like, whoa, sex mix. That's happened before. I was playing the long dark and then all of a sudden someone starts screaming at me. I'm looking around to see who's doing it. The truth about these flamoids is, flamoids. That, flamoids is that they want to slime your feet. So you must stop them. Keep your feet <laughs> clean. <laughs> Obviously, they're just putting their little snuffleupagus green tentacle face thing on you, so I don't know. They're trying to slime me. Why? What is their underlying motivation for this? Because they want they want delicious breakfast nutrients. I, I feel like there's not a whole lot of depth to this gameplay. Mike, it's a game made by Chex. Of course, there's not a whole lot of depth to it. I'm not surprised by that. What does surprise me is that you were so adamant about how good it was and how you wanted to play it. I don't like to be negative, but I'm still curious. I'm still trying to figure out what, what's so appealing about it. Because this. I played it a lot when I was growing up. Oh, That's why. So it's just nostalgia then. Yeah. Okay. I get it then. Well, that was a wasted bullet. So this game is playing pretty similar to how it was back then? Pretty much, yeah. It's just better. And now it, <laughs> it's just now I can aim up or down instead of just straight forward. Uh, I see. Every zap takes one out of your gun. You can hold 200 charges. You got 70 right now. All right. Yeah. Takes, what, three or four to take one of these guys down? Yeah, I think it's like three. All right. The bigger ones are four. Okay, okay. This is a big spaceship that I'm in right now. So the only depth of this gameplay is don't waste ammo. For every shot you miss, the closer you are to running out of ammo and having to rely on your spoon. Pretty much, yeah. Well, there's going to be other enemies later on. These are just the super simple ones. What? Well, they've got more than just four appendages eventually? Uh, there's like little floaty ones. Um, that are pretty much the, 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 Ko Ka I can't pronounce it. Koako Demon from, from Doom. So there's those ones. I mean, these ones are pretty much like the take, or like the, the revenants and the... I figured it out. I figured out why you like this game so much. Because you like Doom. You like Doom. You like all the subsequent Dooms. You like the modern Doom. So this is this is basically the precursor to Doom. Wait, this came out after Doom. This came out after the original Doom. Would yeah. you consider this to be part of the Doom lineage of unofficially? Um... I think unofficially, yeah, I would say it's actually probably part of it. Is this the Snake's Revenge of the Doom <laughs> series? <laughs> Are you from Snake's Revenge? Yeah. All right, I got to remember where the red door is. Quack I think demon. it's I think it's through the blue door. You never like checks? It tastes like someone feeding you part of an area rug. <laughs> what? Chex is tasty. How dare you? I'm a ma I'm oh, a there it is. I've never had Chex before. I imagine it tastes like those chalky hearts. Oh, Valentine's there's a floaty Day. one. Whoa. See? Look at him. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, he's got one eye. All right, that's weird. I'm imagining it's like a very bland kind of chalky substance. It's not ch checks. Yeah. It's not chalky. It just it just tastes like corn cereal. Yeah. All right. Or rice cereal. I think there's corn checks and rice checks. So it does kind of taste like corn flakes. I've had those before. Yeah, it kind of tastes like corn flakes or like rice checks. What is this? An FBI warning? Uh, nope. Don't copy. <laughs> All right. What Emperor Hirohodo? What are you doing here? <laughs> Offering us a part of a breakfast. Why, thank you. Please don't attack us. 
Ad 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 oh, okay, we got landing zone finish. Yeah, I zorched 100% of the flemoids. And you found 80. Th oh, you missed uh, three fourths of the secrets, though. Hey, stop picking your nose. It's gross. I think he was sniffing his finger, <laughs> which is even more gross. <laughs> hmm. This yep, still smells good. like checks, all right. Uh, it still smells like my checks, butt. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll have to remember that there's there's fruits and veggies in here. Will you? Will you have to remember oh that? Oh my god! This is like my favorite level from the original Chex Quest. <laughs> you have a favorite level? Yeah. This must be a big room. Is it your favorite? Because it's the only one you could get to without dying. You could... No, it's because it was cool. You were like in a big storage facility. I'm imagining you've beaten the original then. Yeah, I have. Is it a long game? It's not too terribly long, but it's a lot harder than I than. Uh... It's it's of a significant length for a free cereal it's... box game. Yeah. It was like, this was, this game was from a time when they actually like put effort into products. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think there's a hidden, there's a hidden area in this game. Latin is the root of medicine, a bunch of trans medicine. Yeah, I went to, I took a lot of medical classes. I learned a lot of Latin. And also I took a lot of Spanish. And so if you, if you know Spanish, you'll know, uh, you, you can roughly speak like French and stuff like that. It it's very rough. Uh, Man, uh, this 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 song is just kicking. It's not bad music. I, I I say Spanish and French uh, have some interplay, but there's not a whole lot. It's it, but uh, like Spanish and Portuguese, there's a lot more interplay there. If you know Spanish, you've got like 50% Portuguese down. Oh. But, oh, it's just going. Yeah, but after I learned a lot of Spanish, I took some French, and then I, I was able to learn... I was able to pick up a lot of French quicker, because once you get past the basics, they have a lot of similarities in some of their more complex words. We're on this platform now. Nope, yep, just kind of chilling. Riding the elevator. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know what this does for me, but we're on it. You're riding the Roomba around, all right? Like a cat riding a Roomba. <laughs> all right? You having fun? Yeah, it's a good song. You just want to chill. Uh, oh, oh, it just goes around once. Rides over. Get off. Get to pay the fare. First one's free, sucker. <laughs> Freeze platform. All right, now we're back on the platform again. I don't know why I'm on the platform, but here we are. How much effort and money can you put into basically a free game? I, apparently, this, I guess. I mean, they got some. It's kind of repetitive, but the music's not terrible. This ain't no Mario 64, but, I mean, you get what you pay for. It's, like, honestly, the reason I thought it was so much fun and it was so good was because... <laughs> we had limited options back in the day. <laughs> well, and it's just the fact that it was a free game that was actually entertaining. Hey! New Zorcher. Have you ever played any of those Burger King games that came out? Like Sneak um, King? I think I played Sneak King, and I think I played, like, the racing one, and Sneak King was mildly entertaining. Yeah. You'd say it's probably not as good as these, though? No, I would say I got more enjoyment out of playing Chex Quest than I did out of playing Sneak King. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I bet that's what the what the little cart is for, is so that I can get up onto, like, these boxes. Oh, can you ride it a second time? Hit the button and get on? It's like a button. Can you, can you snap the button? Like, quickly hit it and then jump on? That's what I did last time. Yeah, you're probably going to do it again, then. I'm guessing. Freeze. They have a Chex Mix video game? No, they have a Chex Mix HD video game. Yeah, that's what this is. Oops. Didn't mean to waste that. <laughs> Wasting your ammo. Why am I holding it left-handed? I'm not left-handed. Uh, you gotta keep your right hand free for your gun. <laughs> At least Latin is useful. You had to learn Aramaic. Ew. Hey, Zach, what pump shotgun do you recommend? R pump shotgun. Remington? I'm guessing that's a yes. Zach recommends the Remington. It's his favorite shotgun. Um, what pump shotgun do I recommend? Um... Uh, I would say if you're looking for a pump shotgun, good options are going to be Remington 870, Mossberg 500, FNP 12. Um, stay away from anything by New England Arms because New England Arms is just a Chinese knockoff of a Remington 870. Um, <laughs> what, what other kinds of knockoffs aren't Chinese that are still pretty bad? I don't know. Oh, okay. Can I jump to this one? Yes. Can I jump to this one? Yes. Yes, secret area! I knew it was here! Have you been here before? Is it the same level design? 
It's the levels are pretty much the same, to be completely honest. All but right. I knew there was. A, I remember there was a secret area. Huh. All right. Um. Honestly, when it comes to like Mossberg 500 versus Remington 870, they're both really good shotguns. It's just whatever one you shot first is the one that ge people generally like. So, uh, okay. It's kind of like the whole Ford versus uh, Ford versus Chevy thing. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've talked about this in one of our videos before. Uh, yeah, I think you have. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Elevator. I want to know what this Zorcher does because I don't remember. Uh, it just looks like a higher damage Zorcher. Okay, then. He went an 870 with wood finish. Yeah, sure. Why not? But the pandemic... Oh, he wants that. But the pandemic has made him impossible to find, he says. I, uh, so I guess, good. yeah, there are some... Uh... Ooh, did I, get I got another one! Oh, this is like the little rapid fire one. What the hell is that? It looks like you're holding a spaceship or... Okay. Yeah. If it's that dangerous, so it's... It it'll... Be the way. That does seem nice. You get rid of these guys faster? It does the same amount of damage as the little mini Zorcher I have, but it shoots... Oh, that's so nice. Way faster. That's gonna save some time. And this one, this one I think takes a different ammo, but is higher damage. Eh, alright. Alright. If I jump down, will that kill me? Let's try. Nope. No fall damage applies to Chex Man! Chexy Man! Chexy Man! I'm a Chexy Man. <laughs> Why are we playing this stupid game? <laughs> because it's fun! Uh, Mike, don't you know how to have fun? No, I hate fun. You sound like me. I'm just kidding. Knock yourself out. It's, but we gotta figure out how we're gonna get out of here. What's your objective? Hit Q to access the uh, objective. Just kidding. I don't know if there's any button that stops on the objective. <laughs> no, apparently Q is like <laughs> strafe in one direction. Ah, all right. Q is doing the same. So Q. Oh my God. Wait, do Q and W do the exact, or Q and A do the exact same thing? Apparently so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still figuring out the controls. I I don't know. I was just fucking around with it. Nah. Canada has the C8. I've never even heard of the C8. Huh? I've never heard of the C8 rifle. Oh yeah, the C8 is the Colt Demaco Colt Canada. Um, it's just it's just a Colt. It's an AR-15 that's just made in Canada yep. by Colt. That's what the this guy says. Fat ass gray cat says the AR-15 was too scary, so they got the C8. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> God! I guess if we have to ride the uh, little this cart. Wait, that just goes around in a circle. You need, you need some height, I think, don't you, to get out of here? Just, yeah. We've just been staring at Chex Mix for way too long. Come on, Zach. I'm actually getting hungry for this disgusting food. You like Chex Mix, and you know it. I've never had Chex Mix, but I'm going to assume, without tasting it, that it's disgusting. It's not disgusting. It's not bad. You, you are, yeah, well, Zach, killed. You don't have to worry about being... Got him! You don't have to worry about going stale or getting... Got him! ...gooified if you're dead and crunched into pieces. Oh, a lot of ammo for this. Oh, we need rapid fire. Do we? Well, you better get your rapid fire gun before they get you. Oh, they're coming for you. Brew! Brew! Nice. Brew! Brew! Oh! Oh! oh, God. Oh, God, no. I'm getting surrounded. <laughs> wow, I have 158 health. And some repellents, all right. Did you, ever, ever, did you ever run Is into a milk? soldier by the last name Kulk, Zach? Kulk? Hulk with a K. I don't think so. Yeah. On the right track. Am I? What did I just do? You got some blue paint. Oh, oh boy. I pumped. I pumped out some of the milk that was down there. Oh yeah, you wouldn't want to get soggy by touching milk. Ew. There, even more dairy. there appears to be even more dairy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is this guy? The Bubsy of our time? Uh, apparently so. The Gex. Ooh 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 ooh. That's ammo for my. High-powered Zorcher! Ah, it's right. my Magnum. You might want to save that for any bosses. You might want to save that for the bosses, Zach. You know, with his big green goo comes at you. Nah, man, it's cool. He took out his brain. It's cool. Any of our more musically inclined viewers should make a remix of this song, and I would love it. I hate to or anybody can enjoy it. They don't have to be our viewers. You can just enjoy Chex Mix. <laughs> Somebody enjoys the cereal so much they remix this. Oh, hello. Oh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's 
too many enemies to deal with at once. That's why you got this gun, though. Oh, oh, can you get to, like, can you get through, can you shoot through the soft flesh of one of them and try and get a twofer to, get, to conserve ammo? No. Eh. Too complex for this game. Whoa, well, oh, you fell down to the pit. You can't get out now. Yeah, I can. And so Chex Mixman died because he did not look before. He, is that a Dreamcast? What? Uh, okay, Dodge. Yeah, that's a, that's a second Dreamcast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. All right. I don't think you're giving this game the proper respect it deserves. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving it all the respect it deserves, which is a modicum. How dare you? <laughs> well, those wires are broken. Somebody needs to call OSHA. <laughs> yeah, and while they're at it, you know, they can also rate this place up for having green goo monsters all over the place. Come on, why is there a stealth kill on these goo monsters with a spoon? I want to insta-spoon somebody. Mike, you never want to have to use the spoon. I want to insta-spoon somebody. I want to sneak up right behind them and give them the spoon right in their cerebrum. I mean, technically, I insta-spoon my girlfriend anytime she's around. Ah. <laughs> Gross. And then she says, get away from me. Success. Uh-oh, someone left their glasses. Probably one of these people that got turned into slime monsters that you murdered. Yeah, we could have. We were trying to cure these people that got turned into slime monsters, but I guess killing them is also an option. I think that, like in the original game, yeah, they would get turned into slime monsters. Yeah, in the original game, Super Mario was eating Mushroom Kingdom citizens' heads. Is he? What do you think those? It's the Mushroom Kingdom. All the people are made out of mushrooms. Also, he's eating mushroom heads that are popping out. Yeah, he is. I'm sure he's not anymore. They've retconned that, but that's what he did. I don't know. I think you're fibbing. I think your Fibonacci sequence. Oh, you don't think that was at the original instruction manual? That he was eating the citizens? Was it? Kind of. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he was. Something to that effect. What did you just tune into? <laughs> welcome to Chex Mix, every or welcome to Chex Quest, everybody. Oh, uh, Chex Quest HD. Yes, I'm sorry, Chex Quest HD. Wouldn't want to get you guys confused. There's multiple Chex games. Well, there's there's actually I think there was a Chex Quest three as well. Yes, it's or part Chex of the Quest two. Part of the legendary Chex trilogy. Yeah, I think there was actually a Chex Quest two. Um, it wasn't as good. It wasn't as good. Chex Chex Quest three had to redeem the series. And, it, and then, it, then General Mills went on to be, be known as one of the most renowned video game developers. Look, I'm, I'm not saying. Uh, oh, there's the red door. What aren't you saying? Look, I'm not saying that this game is good, <laughs> but I'm having. Oh no, it's a revenant! He's gonna do it at me! Oh, he's firing double balls of goop. You got. That's why you got that gun. That's the high power gun, right? Yeah. Hey, whoa! Oh, he's just waiting for you. Lure him out here. I got him. Oh, okay, he's just dead. Oh, okay. Whoa! This is the minigun. All right. <laughs> I wonder if the other characters we can unlock have special abilities. I don't know. Can they float like Princess Peach? Is that what they can, like, different abilities, different traits they, they have? Do, they do the, uh, the Peach Bomber attack. Do they play differently, or do they just have different voice lines? Mike, you know as much about this as I, as I do. I bet you I know even less, since you actually have the layout memorized. I have it. I don't have it memorized, but I, it's it's coming back to me. It's like you're going back to a simpler time. A simpler time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Bad. I am going back to a simpler time. That's why I love cassettes so much. Oh, that's right. You bought a whole bunch of cassette players and a bunch of cassettes to go along with it. It's, yeah. He sniffed his finger again. What a weirdo. All right. Back to my ass cheek. This hand goes. All right. Gross. Oh, he's like. Who's he like wiped some the of the slime off. He wiped some of the slime off. He wiped some slimer jizz off the wall. <laughs> That's his excuse. Man, I love adventures. Man, I love adventures. Uh, this is, this is some real Sonic level dialogue here. It's I mean I'm just ignoring the dialogue. Oh, I'm hitting the button. You think we should hit the button? Yes, button hitting is fun. I'm just ignoring the dialogue, but honestly, I am enjoying playing this game. It's a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I kind of thought we would get into this game and I would just be like, oh, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I've um, been there, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> it's for a game that's like from my childhood that I have fond memories of playing. I am enjoying this way more than I thought I would. You know how to make a perfect- Oh, it's a shower. <laughs> no, no, you're gonna get soggy. You're gonna get soggy, Zach. That's the opposite of what you want. I'm not soggy. That was a close one. You almost died. God, that thing is a little glitchy. 
Yeah, they are a little glitchy. And, uh, imperceptive. All right, well, we got to go up to the laboratory. <laughs> this is a fever dream gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Yeah. No, it isn't. <laughs> die, die, Revenant. These enemies are kind <laughs> of a nightmare. <laughs> That's a lot of lab. <laughs> yeah? That's a wall. All right, so what weapons do we have? We've got... <laughs> this game is one massive corn ethanol trip. We've got... <laughs> We've got Spoony. Spoon. We've got the Zorcher. Uh, the Rapid Zorcher. Oh, you having trouble? Six. Yeah. Oh, and then we've got like Minigun Zorcher, which I have no ammo for. Seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. So I think there are like ten weapons, technically. Jeez. All right. So we're about halfway through the game right now, right? I have no <laughs> idea, man. <laughs> What if, like, at the end of this game, it just turns into Doom, where I'm just, like, fighting a giant demon head? <laughs> yeah. I I'm fighting, like, a cyber demon at the end of the game. <laughs> but it's green and have a... These, these snuffleupagus-looking guys, yeah. I didn't think it was possible, but I feel stronger. God, what are the, the three voice lines that he keeps on repeating? Yeah, pretty much. I could do without the voice lines. Let's see. But if Zach, if you turn off his voice lines, you've gotten rid of like 25% of the content the game Here, provided. I just turned it down a little bit. Okay. Yep. Yeah, great sound effects. Thank you. Mm, that's the sound of a bolus full of checks rolling around in your mouth. Splorch, splorch, splorch. Yeah, gross. Man, <laughs> I wish I properly. I am loving this little magnum. <laughs> I guess it kind of is, isn't it? It's like a deagle of sorts. Yeah, it's a little. It's the Zorcher Magnum. All right, time to check all these lockers. Uh, no, you you can't check the lockers. You got the blue key. Do 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 do. Just jamming out. Do 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 do. Damn that fucking keyboard slide! <laughs> I guess that was. I mean, this is no Mick Gordon soundtrack, but not bad. Oh man, I got yellow keys now too. This is getting way too complex for me. There was a yellow key in the last level. I, I, okay, as long as they don't, as long as they don't expand beyond the scope of primary colors, I'll be fine. We find an orange key, I might have an aneurysm. What about a purple key? No, that's a, that's a mix of red and blue. That's not primary. I'll, I'll die. I'll just die. Oh god, you're being uh, slow. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, Quick, I need the magnum. Or not magnum. I need the uh, auto cannon. You gotta avoid ah, those floids. Ah, ah, what am I stuck on? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I tried to switch to my auto cannon. Oh. It's always faster to swap your sidearm. But you, you can't just stand there doing it while he's decaying you. All right. So I, I think it's actually faster for me just to... No, maybe not. Which one was it? Okay. So one is spoon. You do get like an auto spoon later. Okay. It's, like, it's like an auto spork that just goes... <laughs> and spins around in circles. It's one of those spoons that's made for people that have like... Uh, Three. What, what, what's the name four, of that? Four. Parkinson's, yeah. Five, so one of those self-stabilizing spoons <laughs> only has been turbocharged. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so six is the auto cannon. All right, that's all we want to use. Fucking a chick with a mohawk is like fucking the world's loneliest porcupine. <laughs> what? Uh, yes, Zach. Uh, well, Zach died. Here's some bits to help with the hospital bill. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> Getting to it. Okay, now that we know where the enemies are, now that we've memorized their locations, we'll be able to skip past them pretty quick. We're so we're just that good at the game. Apart from this Woo! mission is, I think, like seven minutes, so yeah, we're, we're almost there. We're almost done. How do you know what the par for this mission is? I'm guessing. Ba I'm extrapolating based on previous missions. Someone just told you, didn't they? No, I actually am just extrapolating because the last two missions were about seven minutes each. Watch out, he's zapping you! Duck behind cover, Zach! Jeez, you got half health now. Yeesh. Gotta find some armor. Or some banana. Oh, I still have zero ammo for it. Yeah, damn. That's a lot of laughs. All right, get your taser gun, I guess. You know, taser stands for Thomas A. Swift's electric rifle. I did not. Is it proprietary? Do you have to call other tasers like? Is it like frisbee where you can't call plastic fly flying disc frisbees in no. official things? N no, I don't. I don't think so. It it just calls. It stands for Thomas A. Swift's electric rifle, which is not the name of the inventor. 
The inventor of the taser is not Thomas A. Swift. Ah. The inventor of the taser, I can't remember his name. He named after somebody who hated that he used the taser on. No, it was named after a, like a book series from the night, or like a serial from the 1920s. Oh, okay. That was Thomas A. Swift and his electric rifle. This is a great weapon. You're gonna have to. Use, you're gonna have to try and conserve your ammo, I think, because you're gonna probably want that. Like, when it when the going gets tough. No, this is this is the one that I have just like tons of regular ammo for. Oh, nice. So this is this uses the same ammo as the standard Zorcher. The nice. Magnum uses its own proprietary ammo. All right, that's the one you gotta save for boss battles and heavy heavies. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, this one is the one I have to save for boss battles and heavies. Ah, okay. The auto cannon. I just gotta remember that that's six. All right, so we got the blue key. So what is the equivalent of a chainsaw? Is it just like a switchblade? I think that's I think that's is it the, the spork. I think that's the auto spork. <laughs> is it the spork? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the auto spork. Is the chainsaw? Uh. Yeah, because when I say it was a reskin of Doom, I literally mean it was a re they just they just redid Doom and did some different level designs. They did different levels. They. I think this is where I died last time. Yeah, so you gotta play carefully. Peek the corners. Or no, I not not here. I died a little bit later. Get some right hand advantage going on. Someone screaming your right, or is that no? It's... Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we oh. go. This is where I died last time. Yeah. Okay, six. Auto cannon. Oh, got him. Woo. That was close. I got him, boy. Yeah, you did. Oh, there's a lot of them. Huh? Somehow he dodged that. I think he got to get down, Mr. Slime President. Get down, Mr. Slime President! I'll protect you! <laughs> <laughs> Both got slimed. I'll take the bullet! Oh, I guess it would be I'll take the Zorch. So, you played Doom, Doom Eternal, Zach? I have not played Doom Eternal. Oh, you have it. You played the uh, one from 2016. I played Doom 2016, but I have not played Doom Eternal. Because just, just you haven't gotten around to it? Uh, yeah. Which is surprising, considering how much your fanaticism for Doom is, you know... Very strong, right? You really like that. Yeah, series. but I kind of wonder if my computer would even be able to handle Doom Eternal. Yeah, it couldn't really stream the original 2016 game, so it might have trouble running the Eternal game. It might. I don't know. Don't oh! oh! Look out! It's Gizmo Duck! It, it's Check Smoke Duck. But... <laughs> Poor little guy, I swallowed a key once too. All right. He's got some lines. <laughs> Like, what's the worst thing you've accidentally eaten? Accidentally eaten? Like, you, like, you, you, what's the worst thing you put inside your body? Um, uh, I realize this question <laughs> can go multiple well, ways. Well, then, if we're being that vague, hmm. Was it, it was, it was a Sharpie you put in your butt, wasn't it? <laughs> no. Were you on Gone Wild and you put a Sharpie in your butt? No, because those aren't flanged. They might get stuck. That's why you gotta have a proper butt plug. But to answer your question, I don't. I can't recall something nasty that I put in my mouth. I guess the closest thing is maybe like a screw that I was holding in my mouth while I was doing some construction work. You never accidentally swallowed a key. No, did you? No. Okay. I just thought maybe you did. No. I've never had to have something extracted from my stomach because I ate something I wasn't supposed to. I thought you were going somewhere with that. But no, I, no. I was just, just curious. No. All right, there's got to be a way to get into that room, so I need to. Oh, look at. On the screen up there, that's like the original pixel art for them. Oh, okay. Neat. That's kind of a fun little callback. Yeah. Little Easter egg there. Yes. Oh, okay. Six. Now that I think about it, you do eat checks. Uh, uh, you know, not a lot, but you've, you've brought some checks. And you've actually got some in my cupboard right now, I think. Yeah, I like Chex Mix. It's good. you brought over and didn't actually eat. Yeah, Chex Mix is tasty. And I'm not going to eat it, so it's there if you ever need it. It's not my gross snack food of choice. Chex Mix isn't a gross snack food. Oh, yeah. It's it's a nutritious part of your balanced breakfast. I found the secret. I Oh, okay. Nice. When I say gross, I didn't necessarily mean just because it tastes like chocolate. I mean, you know, it's garbage food. Yeah, you can't hide from Fred Chexter. It's like potato chips. Just... Wow, I got 200 armor now. Oh, there you go. Now you can take the whole four shots. Yeah, see, look, at that's the original, that's... like, pixel art. Oh, cool. Now you need to find the original version of your hand sticking out so I can compare. 
So yeah, I remember I remember playing this game a lot on my like freaking Windows 95 machine. <laughs> yeah. What what was like some of the oldest games you can remember playing? Oh jeez. Um I specifically remember playing a fl an airplane game where you um oh, I didn't ever got the red key. I remember playing like this flight simulator airplane game that ran on freaking DOS oh, that was yeah. um it was it was, th I hesitate to say 3D graphics, because it was, but not good 3D graphics. Mm, mediocre graphics. It was, like, so everything far. was just made of, like, one single polygon. But it was more than just black and green. Yeah. Yeah. So um, not, nothing before that? Nothing like the black and screen and black and green garbage games? Oh, no, I played, like, a text-based game before that. Oh, okay. Um... Where did I go on? Like Word Muncher and stuff like that? Yeah, I remember playing ones like that. You know, this this like airplane game came out the same time as uh like th those like text based black and green word munchers type games. Yeah. It came out the same time as them. Were you big into the munchers games? Not really. I remember the school used to have word munchers games on them and it's like, yeah, it's uh it's a mediocre word munchers game, alright. But then later we got Troggle Trouble, which is like a, a word muncher spinoff, only it was based on math. I think I remember that. You had to for you had to forcibly navigate your dog Sparky around the world, avoiding threats and solving math problems. Now that I think about it, I had a lot of math games growing up. That might be why. I, I wonder if I'm good at math because I played a lot of math games, or if I played a lot of math games because I was good at math. I can't why I can't really are you say. Doing, <laughs> doing what? Playing Chex HD or talking about Troggle Trouble? Yeah. Um, I also remember playing, oh jeez, I had a bunch of games for the Sega Genesis, and I think I had a Nintendo at one point, not like the Super Nintendo, I had an original ah, Nintendo. Ah, the NES. Yeah. Given Zach's infatuation with Chex Mix, his obsession with corn is beginning to make more sense. Yeah. Corn is a very useful oh, substance. Oh, I have to, I have to get rid of this big pile of gobbledygook. Oh, is that why I think that's where the key is. It's underneath that pile of, uh, There we go, Okay. So you're ungoofying the goo. Oh, oh! Now you got to turn that off. But you don't want to get zapped. You lose some armor. No, that's fine. Now that's what yeah, I'm this is another thing that people don't remember about. <sighs> it's a sticky key. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is another. Why thing was people... that even a pun? I have no idea. That's what I call a sticky key. Ha ha ha! That that's definitely some Sonic Boom levels of joke right there. This is another thing that people just don't really remember about like older video games is no no real like compass or anything you just have to, you have to figure out where you're supposed to be going navigate by the seat of your pants and sometimes if you really get lost get, a, get out a pen and paper and start drawing things down i used to have a notebook for um the original mist game i had a notebook on how to solve a bunch of different puzzles and i would take notes on stuff and i had the very end of the mist game you have to navigate this weird like rail puzzle oh okay um and i had it's a it's a maze. Oh, that was it. Hey, you got. Oh, I missed a couple. I missed a couple, and I only found twenty five percent of the secrets. Not bad. Hey, I had a seven minute part time. You were right. Yeah, you made a, you made pretty good time on that one. Ten to seven. Yeah. Cool. Um. But. Oh, you're so so close. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um. Anyway. You might not be close to the end. I don't know. Thanks, Courier Six. <laughs> I uh, I would. I had this whole thing written down on a notebook of how to get through the the end of it. And I basically had to solve the maze by trial and error of go all the way to this. Oh, I got to a dead end. All right, we'll go all the way back to the start. And I had it was just written down of like... Take two steps to the right. It started out, well, because you're on a little rail. So it was just basically click forward, left, or right, depending on what kind of intersection you would come to. And I had it, it started out just being left, left, right, right, left, straight, right, straight, right. Nope, that wasn't it. And then doing that. <laughs> yeah. And then it started turning into, I got grid paper and I was actually <laughs> drawing out the map uh -huh. like on grid paper to try and figure out the end of it. Yeah. Sometimes these games weren't designed best. Mist was an amazing game. How dare you? I, I haven't even marked Mist. You I, said I, they weren't designed the best. Oh, look at this. Well, if you had to bust out some pen and paper to solve it, then yeah. I'm sure that's the kind of game design that wouldn't really. Ah! Oh, yeah. It's a worm. It's gross. Is this, they, is this the the larval stage of the <laughs> the slime toid? The the flemingoid. The flemoids. Yes. 
We're in your house murdering your babies. Get off my planet. Number six. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. A lot of bugs. They were, I guess they were hiding in the trees, these little caterpie looking things. Whew. Stay away from my plantation, my bananas and apples and my oranges. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Yeah, yes. Children's songs. Yeah, what's your favorite children's song? Oh, cactus! Um, what's my favorite children's song? I. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's none like, of them? It, that's like the opposite of a Sophie's Choice. Yeah, none of, none of them. What's Okay, what's the one I hate the least, I oh, guess? Oh, there you go. Uh, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Not quite a children's song. How about Red Rosie? That's kind of dark. Which one is that? Rig around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. That's that's less of a that's ashes, less of a children's song. Ashes, we all fall down. I don't. You were having difficulty getting here? this guy. Is like an invisible wall? I am an ally. No! Who's your friend? I was the only good one. I was gonna give you the next weapon. No. Oh, okay, bye. Um, I don't know. I guess I, I don't have one that I hate less than others. Zach, do you ever stack 11 buckets again? Yeah, you know, I'm guessing the Viscera cleanup. What is, what is this one? It's a gun of sorts. I'm assuming you didn't- Oh, this is like the BFG. It's, it's a grenade launcher of sorts. Yeah, kinda. I'm assuming you haven't played bucket stacking in Viscera. You probably haven't played I haven't while. played Viscera cleanup detail in a while, so. There's just so many other things you gotta do. Eight, seven, six. Okay, so that's seven. All right. I think. Nope, five. Okay, that one's five. That one that one is weapon number five. Play Monopoly? Play the worst board game ever made? No, I don't think so. Monopoly is such a bad board game and I hate it. What would you rather play, Monopoly or Candyland? I think I would rather play Candyland and look at the drawings. <laughs> That's it though. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's pretty effective. I may have mentioned this before, but, you know, Candyland doesn't actually have any choice. You draw a card and then go to where that spot is. I would rather play Candyland and look at the art. That, that's it. Yeah. Uh, one time, Candyland was only one of the only games I had available to play. So, my brother and I played Candyland, but you were allowed to, to draw two cards. And whichever one you uh, didn't use, you had to hold on for your next hand. <laughs> so, there was some tactical choice there, but also luck. But it was pretty simple still. Yeah. He feels I should not have just jumped down here, but whatever. Look before you leave next time. You're I lucky there, there wasn't a bunch of flimwoids down here in the zombie pit. I'd enjoy this game a lot more if there was a narrative structure. Like, where's the antagonist? Or is it man versus nature? It's it's a man versus nature thing. Only nature this... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight the role of nature will be played by the flimwoids. <laughs> Simulating starvation, I suppose. They're trying to make your food soggy and un unconsumable. Hey, man, I'm getting it. All right. I'm getting into this game. I don't know why you're not. Probably well, because you're in the driver's seat. It looks like it's fun enough to play. Yeah. <laughs> so I came over to Mike's house the other day, and I had bought a bag of Chex Mix. Yeah. And I saw on the back of the bag of Chex Mix was a thing that said, free download code for for like a skin in Chex Quest. Yeah. And I'm just like, um, fucking what? <laughs> so I looked it up online and I found out that Chex, that they had remade this, this HD version of Chex Quest. And I got really excited. And Mike was just like, why? It's just corporate propaganda. Stop shilling for these companies that don't need us. Mike, it's fun to play. Oh yes, cause General Mills needs you to- <laughs> Is that a plant from Plants vs. Zombies? It looks something like that, yeah. It kinda looks like that, doesn't it? I don't, yeah, it's not the same company, so I doubt it's a replica, but yeah, it's a reference maybe to something. Yo, give me that key. Give me that key. Give me that key. Give me that key. You got the yellow key. All right. All right, we already been in here. I'm just going to go around pushing walls until I find secrets. Did you ever do that? Go around the wall trying to find random panels looking for secrets? Yeah. No. Oh, man. O outside of Wolfenstein. I remember playing, um, I remember playing Zelda and going around poking the walls with a sword trying to find places that you could drop a bomb at. Hmm. I remember my girlfriend and I were playing Wolfenstein for the PlayStation 3 and one of us was going around 
solving the game, but someone else had the instructions and was navigating us because it was such a Wolfenstein had so many hidden doors. And uh, that was it. It was basically us just uh, doing that. And I, I can't believe that relationship didn't work out. <laughs> Sounds like a, such a fun time, right? Doing this chore. Not really playing a game, just solving a math puzzle. I don't know, that sounds kind of fun to me. Eh. It's not, like we're, it's not like we're solving anything, we're just going through the motions. Which is pretty much how you would describe that entire relationship. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. That's not fun. Yeah. Alright, well I got the yellow key. Alright. Oh god, what is- Oh, it's just- No. It's been a while since I saw one of you guys. I got used to these things with the blue suits. Okay, okay, hang on. We need- I got no ammo for this. Six. We need the big boy. <laughs> yeah. Plasma rifle! Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the plasma rifle. You gotta watch out for that stuff. You're, you're, oh yeah, you have 157% armor. Yeah, I'm totally, I'm totally fine, man. Never mind, I don't know what I'm worried about. I'm just gonna turn off my brain. You don't need me. I'll navigate. I'll be your navigator, your co-pilot here. Yeah, I do. I need you. I, Mike, I need you here. For moral support. Yes. Nah, you're doing fine. Alright. Did I get new ammo? Do I get ammo for anything? Well, I got five of uh, these things. Five guns? I got five of this, whatever this gun does. I might as well use it, you can only hold a few more. Well, <laughs> one shot some, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty effective. <laughs> ever played Strip Monopoly? <laughs> no. I've never even heard of that, but it's fun to imagine. You get more and more desperate. Oh, that's it's actually a little dark though. That, get, that actually is really dark. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the more sound of that. You start taking off clothing until like, you're naked and you lose. Yeah. Strip monopoly sounds terrible. Actually. No, actually, if you get if you if you pass go without any clothes on, then you get sent to jail <laughs> because you just prostituted yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's something like that. You got caught. Woo. Oh, that. That missed apparently. Every time you shoot the, every time you shoot that gun, the controller over here vibrates. Maybe you can play this with the controller here. Hold on a second. Hey! Yay! Hey, there we hey, go. No! Stop! It's, You're wasting my ammo. What ammo? You don't have any ammo left. <laughs> great. That's that's great. Thank you, Mike. So you said when we started off, no, this game doesn't use a controller. It uses keyboard and mouse. Well, I said it might not use a controller. I didn't say it doesn't. <laughs> you assumed it didn't. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for coming over. Thanks for. Thanks for wasting my ammo. <laughs> Thanks for breaking my cow lamp. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is like from the same era as Homestar Runner. So your clothes can be mortgaged, I guess, in, in Mon Strip Monopoly? I guess, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strip if Monopoly I, sounds really dark, and I don't like it. If I take off my shirt, can I have $500? Sure. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that sounds awful. It does sound terrible. Shame on you for coming up with that idea. Ooh, candle. And my school counselor said I'd never be able to solve a maze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Once in a while, these voice lines are gold. Did they not have these voice lines in the... Uh... No, they had no voice lines in the original. I was imagining so, yes. Ah, oh, the uh, primo strategy for Strip Monopoly is to take everything off immediately and then you, you start off with extra cash in your pocket. <laughs> I guess that's a good idea. Give yourself the edge. Oh, damn! There was there was other places I could have explored. Yeah, but you're going this look at his split. So it doesn't really show us how many levels we've completed out of how many levels there are. No, not yet. A little too cavernous. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell a joke while Zach is inhaling his nicotine stick. My sin sticks. So, you know, you get more money in your pocket? Yeah, but yeah. which pocket? Uh, remember, remember, people, if your hands get cold, just stick them between your butt cheeks. That's nature's pocket. You don't let them pick your pocket. <laughs> you don't let them pick your pocket. <laughs> so, we're, what, in the basement now? Ooh, look at these stalagmites. What is this cave? I don't know. It's the, the chocolate cave. Huh. Mm. Right. If I stand in this, will it hurt me? You get soggy? Yup! <laughs> Ooh, you! Your feet are getting soggy! Are you in a spaceship suit or something? Uh, I'm in some type of suit. Apparently that's protecting your feet. No, your, your feet need to breathe, apparently. Remember to always bring a change of socks when you're going on operation. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> some of these voice clips are coming at just like perfect times. 
Streams are fun, but you're going to go stop procrastinating and get some work done. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I thought he was telling you to stop streaming and get some actual work done. Yeah, he's going to stop watching you scream. You, you're allowed to keep stre streaming, though. Screaming. It's both. Stream and scream. I'm not reading any of those. Lore? Wow. I, no. I don't need Chex Quest lore. <laughs> Unless it influences the story in any meaningful way. Like, we get to the end boss. Hey, you know what my favorite cereal's syrup is? No? All right, you get the bad ending. Yeah, you didn't read the lore. Hello, let me tell you the lore of the land. I think this opens a door. Sure. <laughs> hmm. Snuck up on him. That guy was just. Oh, we're in the mineral mines. Oh. Did you know that vitamin is short for vital mineral? I did not until just now. Yeah. Were you today years old when you learned that? Yes. So, where is the snarky, uh... The maligning and the making fun of Kellogg's? Because there's, like, the rivalry, right? Between General Mills and Kellogg's. I feel like they, they think they would get in trouble if they did that. So they didn't. Like, you, you come across uh, a Chex Mix character named Kellogg who's being <laughs> trying to find the little survivor's son so he can kill him, but you gotta put a bullet in him so he stops. He's, like, literally... Like, the rest of the game is, you know, like, cute and friendly, except for that one scene is just, like, violent, <laughs> visceral. He's just getting ripped apart. <laughs> yeah! It's just like, okay, Chex, you need to... You need to settle down on that one. Oh, there's a secret area. That you can't get to no matter how hard you try. I bet I can. No, it's impossible. No, you're going back down to where you... All right, yeah. just back I'm going to try and get in there. Uh, I bet I can. All right. I bet you could if you spent enough time on it, sure. All right, so we got to go up that direction. Careful, you don't have any armor whatsoever. Oh, that's fine. Which is strange because you had armor, but I guess you stripped it all off before you started the new level. Um, No, when I started this level, I lost it because I got attacked by a bunch of guys. Yo, you lost it? You actually carried it over into the beginning of the level? You, I think so. You got yeah, it. I had like 80-something armor. Mm. I said it before, I said it again. This is not absolutely terrible. It's... No, it's not bad. Dang, this song freaking... This song is slapping pretty well. You, you'd well, imagine, now, now it isn't, but it was. You'd imagine this song would be repetitive and annoying, but no, it's, it's fine. It's serviceable. All right, well, let's go into the blue area. We'll worry about that secret, that Never secret again. area later. Never again. Screw it. Take have, that, door. We don't have time to be screwing around in secret areas trying to unlock, trying to, <laughs> trying to be a completionist for check, checks mix HD. Uh, yes, we do. All right, I'm taking this control off life support so it can stop vibrating in my face whenever you shoot something. Uh, I think you- Oh! I think you're enjoying that! No, it wasn't even sitting on my leg. It was just annoying there. Man, these controls are kind of floaty, though, I have to admit. Yeah, are they? <laughs> a little floaty. The way I was watching you play it, it seemed like it was normal enough. It's like you're, you're riding around on ice skates, kind of. Kind of? Like, when you jump, you, like, uh, here, I'm gonna press- I'm gonna press forward for, like, half a second and then jump and watch what happens. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you just go flying. Can you like control your jump in midair, or once you go, once you got that forward momentum, it ain't going to stop. Um, I'm not sure actually. Let's see. You can you can kind of control it a little bit. All right. Yeah. You might not want to do that until you get close, because you just kind of waste ammo. You see, you didn't even kill him. You just sprayed it. And All right, fine. We'll get closer to him. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Wow, look at all of them over there. They're just chilling out. Yeah, just trying to relax in the street. Okay, just... They were having a spa day, Zach. This is what you get for relaxing! Get back to work! Capitalism demands sacrifice! Well, he's, they're dead now, so they can't do anything. Like, what, we have to read that lore? This is what we unlocked? Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed an area up there. We can just run back there real quick. What did we get from that area? Hmm? What, did we get a key there? Uh, yes, we got the yellow key. Oh, okay. Um, well, no. Oh, well. Maybe there's a secret area down here. Like, if you go all oh, the way... Oh, I think I can sprint. All the way to... Oh, there's a fast way to get through this, then? Is it use up your health? Do you start to crumble when you go too fast? Oh, my goodness. I'm going... Yeah, if you... There's a, there's a shift to the sprint button? Yeah. Holy <laughs> crap! Oh, my God! Okay, that's way too fast. All right. That'll help you get through the areas quick. I can see why people can set the uh, seven-minute run on this. I think they actually did make this game with speed running in mind. That's just more free advertising. Yeah, they wanted people to speedrun it. 
That yeah. Everybody, people, people just want to speed run games. People speed run. Well, people like to speed run games that are one relatively short and two not based on random chance. And this game doesn't seem to have a lot of random chance. Yep. You probably, if you really wanted to, I'm sure you probably could speed run this game. All right. Then my question is, how can I get over onto that ledge? Ah, pissed. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. I don't need to worry about that ledge. All right. Let's, if, this is like this is the same problem that I have with Doom, though, where it looks like it's a fun enough game, but it's just kind of kind of mindless. How dare you, sir? It's fun, but it's mindless fun. How dare you? That's just not engaging to me. Where's the plot? Where's the moral Doom dilemmas? has plenty of plots! Where's the story choices? You're right? Doom Marine! Here's a shotgun! Go kill stuff! That's F that's backstory. That's exposition. I'm saying like where's the Where's the plot divergence? Where's the moral dilemma where I have to choose which slime lives and which slime dies? Oh, this is that ledge that I was wondering how to get on. Heights are afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Heights are afraid of me. Let's get to heights. All right, secret, secret, can't. secret tunnel, mm, secret out. tunnel. All right, throw a grenade in there. All right, or that. Same thing. Oh, that was a that was a waste of a shot. <laughs> Maybe you don't actually have to kill these guys. You just walk past. Them. Who cares? Eleven health. You're, you're yeah, I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> no. Start over. God, all the way back here. Yeah. Old five minutes. Ago. Just, just. You don't even have to stop and deal with these. You can just run to the end, couldn't you? No. Oh. You don't have to kill them, do you? I mean, technically no, but they're gonna just gonna keep hitting me until I do. Not if you run past them, unless they. Maybe only. Maybe the keys only spawn if you've killed them. Like. Life is a journey, not a destination, okay? Right, but if both the journey and the destination suck, is it really worth walking? Wow, Mike! <laughs> I enjoy this game! Alright? Yeah. You're allowed to like bad things. You know what? Honestly, just keep your opinions to yourself, okay? Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I like shitting on things you love. Yeah. Uh, you wonder why I never come over to record things. <laughs> In all seriousness, you know, like I said before, it seems like good, clean, mindless fun, but... It's not my game, genre. Now you want games that like challenge you and have a choice. Yeah. What a weird nerd you are. I like. I bet you like to read too. Zach, I love games that have huge overarching narratives like Beat Saber. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh yeah. No, well, let's talk about that for a second. The fact that you're like, where's the overarching narrative? <laughs> Meanwhile, you spent three hours playing Beat Saber this morning. Yeah, but you know what I didn't do? Stream Beat Saber and try and commentate over it for three hours. Because what am I going to say? Hey, look, here comes a red block. Oh, here comes a couple of blue blocks. Well, that one was a challenging sequence of blocks. No, it's it's the exact same Nobody thing. wants to watch you play Beat Saber. This is Beat Saber. Exactly. No one wants to watch me play Beat this Saber. This is not Beat Saber. This is actually fun. <laughs> it is the exact same thing. No, it isn't. Beat Saber is boring and dumb. <laughs> By the way, yes, uh, we did experiment with a little bit of VR technology, so that, that's kind of cool. Zach got to play Super Hot for the first time. It was the first time for me, too. We played the demo. It was nice. I also watched porn on it. You did? Did you really? How yeah, dare while you? you? While you thought I was playing Beat Saber, I was just watching porn. Well, that explains those rude gestures you made. <laughs> I was wondering why you were playing Beat Saber without your pants on. I don't think you under I don't think you fully understand what the term beat saber truly means. Yeah, I'm beating my saber. Yeah, it, no, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Somebody in the comments here has made the uh, inaccurate assessment that Chex Quest is better than Beat Saber. Huh? All right, you're allowed to be wrong. It's fine. No, they're right. <laughs> tell them they're right. Mike, tell them. Tell them what? Tell them that they're correct. I will lie to people if you want, but I don't think it's good to base that. And I, uh, it's a good thing for me to be doing. To, to build up a level of non-integrity. Someone needs to Someone needs to just cut the audio of Mike saying Chex Quest is better than Beat Saber and cut out <laughs> everything he said before it. I don't think audio editing tools exist in this day and age. Chex Quest is better than Beat Saber, huh? Yes. The tyranoid looking assholes from Ratchet and Clank. 
I'm, I'm sorry. Are you not having fun? <laughs> I am. I'm having lots of fun. I'm mocking it relentlessly, but I'm still enjoying myself. Kill those guys. Kill those tentacle squid robots and step on that Dreamcast. We'll be done. In fact, you probably didn't even just step on those guys. You probably just step on that Dreamcast and be done. You're just wasting ammo. Oh, wait. Is this a... Oh, that's a glitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... I, I found a secret. Oh, God. Whoa. All right, to the yellow door. Yeah, maybe checks. Yeah, someone said. Uh, yeah, maybe checks quests ending changes depending on your actions. Like you haven't killed all the slimes, he's got a different ending, like Silent Hill 2. Your actions in the game change the narrative. Wow. <laughs> you, that's all you got to say about that. Wow. What a concept. They definitely didn't do it, but wow. Think about that. Yeah. It would, that'd be a thing, all right. Stop shitting on my childhood. I don't think they were shooting at your other. I'm just saying that they were pos positing that as an option. No, I'm saying maybe you should stop shitting on my childhood. <laughs> I think I have. I think I really haven't. I have not been nearly as mean to this game as I could have. Mocking with its PlayStation 2 graphics and its PlayStation 1 gameplay. <laughs> this is better than PlayStation 2 graphics. How dare you? That's true. It is the standard definition. It's, a, it's the HD remix of a PlayStation 2 game, though, so, you know. Yeah, well, you know, I thought the Futurama game for PlayStation 2 was pretty shit. You know what? I'm not even going to debate you on that. It's such a shit game that they took the cutscenes and packaged it off on the, on the DVDs as the lost episodes. No one ever have to play that game. Well, fine then. God damn it. I still remember that Futurama video game that I, I got. Everyone had their set, uh, special techniques. Leela's good at martial arts. Bender's a robot, so he can just pull whatever he wants out of his chest. What about Fry? Um, he's got a gun. What's Fry's special skill? Um, what does he offer that no one else does? Um, gun. <laughs> so you played as Fry, shooting things with a gun. You played as Bender, bouncing around with your spring legs, or whatever. Then you played as Leela. You had to get up close and personal, and then you did a, a race as Zoidberg, where you rode some kind of creature through the swamp. And that was that. That was the entirety of the game. That sounds enthralling. That's a pretty good humorous cutscenes, but that was pretty much the only redeeming factor. I guess this way. That and hearing the Futurama characters make one-liners, especially Bender. Because, you know, as much fun as Chex mixes one-liners are, hearing John DiMaggio say that would make them a hundred times better. Uh-huh. <laughs> This game redefined fresh out of the box. <laughs> if you're done showcasing this amazing game, let's play some Pepsi Man now. Pepsi Man. Have you ever played Pepsi Man? I have. Do you have it? No. Is it good? No, it's terrible. Okay. <laughs> it's freaking awful. I've never touched it's it. It's such a bad game. I've never been suckered into any stupid games that have been... Mike, I was 10. That's why I played this game. Propagandized. I was too smart even as a kid to fall prey to uh -huh, these yeah. propaganda... Capitalism games. This game is going to destroy our friendship. <laughs> oh, our, our, our friendship has withstood. Ah! If, our, if we could withstand Doom, we could withstand this. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the games that I I fe actually fell prey to, to when I was a kid. What kind of propaganda games? What kind of uh, video games that I played that were sponsored? That obviously were just to warp my little mind to be a good consumer. But I can't remember of any of them. Ooh, that's actually a sentient wall spitting at you. Yeah, he's not happy about me being here. Because I never played Pepsi Man or any, anything like that. Hmm. Got him! No, oh, okay. Oh. That was that. Wow, look at that. You almost beat Par on that one. Yeah, almost. A nice bogey on that. Bogey. Oh, that might be the end of the game. We're stuck. Don't worry. I'll get you out of this gunk. Are you... Okay, let's make a break for it. We're almost there. Oh, no. <laughs> we didn't have enough money to actually show, like, a fight sequence. <laughs> <laughs> and so we beat the prologue. Now the actual game begins. Free. Thank you. We gather here today to I think that was the end of the game, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. ...who paid the highest price to secure our safety and freedom from the Flemoid menace. 
My heart is heavy with grief at the terrific loss of nutrients to the Flemoid hordes. Oh no. But filled with gratitude for our... Yay, we survived! Why do these losers get medals? They didn't do nothing. Today, receiving our yeah! The Chek's Dalian of Bravery. Ooh, I want a Chek's Dalian of Bravery. We would be deprived of the precious nutrients that contribute to the health and happiness of every <laughs> The robot is just a pretzel. He's literally just a pretzel. Of the entire galaxy, we thank the Chek's That has expressions, apparently. No, he's just standing there. No, he just had an expression. He lifted his eyebrows. By this point. I've been battling oh the Floyd since '96. <laughs> so it's time for me to throw myself back into my greatest. When the game came out in '96, as you may have expected, I apply the same intensity to home life as I do my hero life. I'm what does he zort them when they're bad? I sprint them. I don't take temperatures. I give them. I take lives. I stung the spelling bee, and I grill with the strength of ten dads. <laughs> Do I miss the life of adventure? Sure. But heroic fatherhood isn't just about me. It's about the youngsters. Ah. The next generation. <laughs> Fred Jr. Fredelina. Other Fred Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Look at their choice. Wow! They'll be saving the galaxy in no time. <clears throat> yep. Looks like my heroing days are over. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. And then they kidnap his kids. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, that actually was the end of the game, huh? Yeah, that was the end of the game. Yes, I take fatherhood seriously, which is why I feed my children a nutritional breakfast. That does not include checks. God, what a terrible father I'd be. I'd be such a bad father. Oh, let's see if I recognize any of these people. I won't. No. Oh, yes, he's from the original version of the game. Yes, yes. I don't know, maybe if I recognize one of the artists, like I follow him on Twitter or something. Uh, Lobotomized Teddy Bear asks if Chex fucked other Chex to get those Chex kids. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how Chex work. <laughs> maybe the Chex is just their clothing. Maybe they uh, re reproduce by budding. I have no idea. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a stupid little game. <laughs> Why are you trying to put this weird thing into it? You know what that means, Zach. There's rule 34 of checks somewhere. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, you see how hot that checks lady in the armor was? It looked exactly like the checks man, but with the eyebrows. Yeah, when it started, I said top tier waifu. <laughs> Do I have sausages with cheese in America? I don't. I don't eat sausages with cheese. That's gross. Mike doesn't eat anything except chicken. I'm sure it does exist, though. <laughs> you bet checks has some deep lore. I bet you're wrong. Is it cannibalism if he eats checks? Yes. Yes, we established that. That's why he has to eat bananas. It's because it would be cannibalism. I'm waiting to see who the voice actors were. Is Chex man sperm milk? No. No. Great. Oh, Fred Chexter. No, I... I recognize Courtney Taylor from something. Admiral Wheat. Oh, we didn't get to hear her. Who's, who, what else was Courtney Taylor in? Zach, we only played the first character. We gotta play this game with the other characters now, too. Did we unlock one new character, or did we unlock them all? Uh, let's see. Who is Courtney Taylor? Oh, Mike, you'll be happy to know that the lady that was at the very beginning of the game, yes. the, 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 like, major lady with the long brown hair. The one who did all of the talking? Yes, uh, she played Jack in Mass Effect. Really? That's the yeah. same character? Yep. Well, now we have to start listening to the intro cutscene again, because I missed it, apparently. She also played the female soul survivor in Fallout 4. Yeah, yeah, same voice actor, yeah. Yeah, here, we'll start it again so you can hear it. Do we unlock a new character, or do we I have I don't know, to... let's find out. Do we have to beat it under a certain time? What the hell? Hey! Oh. Yo! Oh, you might have to unlock them. Oh, you know what? You know what? Hang on, hang on a second. Can you look at the cheat codes or something? No, hang on a second. I have a picture, because I took a... <laughs> why, why is Jesse from Pokemon... With the oh hey guy expression, the lock screen on your phone. Because <laughs> Jesse from Pokemon is hot. Okay. <laughs> I get that. But you know, that's not what I have on my lock screen. I have something tasteful, you know. Like what? <laughs> you have Morden going, ah, doing the home alone face. <laughs> Freaking Morden doing the home alone face. Yeah, sandwich between Miranda's and Samara's breasts. <laughs> oh my god. All right, where is this picture? Oh, there it is. All right, so we're going to put in a code really quick. Uh, you, what did that do? You unlocked 
A multiplayer campaign? To unlock multiplayer mode and for- Oh, that unlocked multiplayer. Wait, we can't play- Is it split screen we can both play together? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to. Oh, I- you, have, you had to get specifically marked bags of checks in order to unlock the different characters. <laughs> ah! What is- what is multiplayer? Oh. So we all- we can only play as Fred then, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, we were gonna do the... Yeah, there's just five levels, that's it, huh? Yeah, here you go. Just so you can- just so you can hear it again, cause yes, it's Jack. Last week, a volcano exploded on planet Bazoik. Huh. Launching particles of rock into space. One of these asteroids was captured and brought to our lands for testing. We were in yep, that was Courtney Taylor. Okay then. Doing a, a accent, so it doesn't really sound like the same character. As me. Yeah. All right, we're, we're done with that. We don't need to hear the Chex lore a second time. Are we? Are we? Oh! I have all the same. I have all the guns, like from the start of the game. Ooh. And the spoon, of course. And the spoon. Wait, didn't, were you supposed to get like a tele, like a super spoon or something? Yeah, I guess not. One. That was two. Part of the cut content. Seven. I guess that's eight, yeah. nine, zero. Yeah, I guess there's only seven weapons. All right, Zach, time for the spoon only speed run. All right, let's go. It's gonna go well. We're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna see if I can get through the first level without uh without killing anything. Uh, oh, okay, that's an option. Yeah, see if we can do that. Yeah, trigger the cutscene. Straight back out there. Oh, I was taking damage You're the entire time that cutscene was going. Great. Yeah, speedrunners speed normally have to skip cutscenes when they can to avoid taking damage like that. Yeah, you got the sprint function, so yeah, there you go. Oh, that guy's actually blocking your path. Okay, yeah. Oh, we got 14 health. No, nope, yeah. All right, we'll try this again. We're going to try this again. You're going to have to... Maybe we'll, maybe we'll speedrun, but use an actual weapon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Nope, can't skip. Can't, can't, can't skip. skip. All right, you're just gonna take damage there, I guess. So we're gonna we're we're gonna have to <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. gonna have to like figure out actual speedrun strats. He tried to lock you. Yeah, I don't think you were taking damage. It was showing the uh, the marker that you were taking damage, but I don't think you were taking damage during that. So they gotta shoot these guys that are in your way. Yep, and that one, and this one. Okay, but us. That guy's, yeah. That guy was ancillary. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. We were talking about speedrunning this as a joke, but we're kind of doing it right now. This is yeah, we're actually kind of trying right now. I mean, it only took us an hour to beat the full game, so, you know, whatever. So the key is over here. Now that you've memorized this and everything. The first one was just a trial. It was a trial run. <laughs> we're, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Fuck, I sneezed so hard I chipped my tooth. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. Don't do that next time. Use a dental file. That'll fix it up. Don't do that. No, that's bad advice. No, use a dental file. You don't know if you chipped it all the way to the root. You don't know that's a good idea. If you didn't chip it all the way to the root, you can use a dental file. <laughs> oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Are we going to beat par, though? That's the important thing. Are we going to beat par? Um, I think so. This key will be useful for opening doors. Yeah, no shit. And that's the blue door. Is, we get the blue key? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Oh, there was... Oh, boy. You kind of do need the health, don't you? You have 27 health right now. 27%, so, you know, not great. We're not We're not trying for a 100% speed run. No. Speaking of speed runs, though, I watched the Super Mario... Uh, like, I watched the Super Mario 64 speed run develop at, during my... Like, that was the one that I followed during my lifetime. Uh-huh. When I was a kid, you had to get those 70 stars. And then I remember it was a big deal when someone realized you could skip that last door and beat it with only 50. I was like, wow, you can beat Super Mario 64 with 50 stars. That's amazing. And you can do it so reliably, too. It's so easy to do that. And then somewhere, someone figured out you can glitch a rabbit. You can beat it with 31 stars. And it's not as reliable, but it's still impressive. That you can glitch your way through a door and get... You can beat the game with with 31 oh, stars. Shoot, I think I, I don't think I got the key. Ah, uh, the speed run needs to be scrubbed. We got to start over. Oh ah, well. But yeah, restart level. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, 31 stars. I remember that was such a big deal. That was such a big deal back in the day. You're supposed to beat it with 70, but you you can beat it with 31. That's crazy. And these days, you don't need any stars whatsoever. 
You, you don't need any single stars. You can yeah, you can just beat the game. You can figure out the specific glitch you need to do and launch yourself through a bunch of parallel universes and get there. Thank you, Pixel Profligate. Hee <laughs> hee, I am a big boy now. Are you? Welcome, big boy. Welcome to the club, big boy. Oh no! 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 Oh. <laughs> the speedrun is going very poorly. Yeah, I ran out of ammo. Also, Kiki Loot is now here for a tier one sub. Thank you. Have we found the corn yet? Uh, I guess Chex is pretty much just corn, so yeah. Well, it's corn and rice. So basically, yeah. Don't do sex, home dentistry. Good advice. No, do my home dentistry. Do it. The current Chex Quest HD 80% speedrun record is 3 minutes 12 seconds. Is it seriously? Yeah. <laughs> How? Do they just skip to the last level? They probably figure something out with some parallel universes and then propel themselves with a shift button or something. Probably the Super Mario way. What's well, cheating? It's any percent, Zach. That's what any percent means. Man, I'm never going to beat the speedrun record. Well, not on your first try, obviously. We need to get some practice in, which is what we're doing. Yeah, you're probably just going to run that one and that one. That's got to be it, yeah? No? I would think so. And the magnum gun right there. Uh, it's I'm out of ammo for it. Oh, bummer. You're out of, ammo, you're out of good ammo for everything. The, the last time I came up here, I forgot to grab the key before I went through the teleporter. Apparently, there's a SpongeBob battle for bikini bottle. One battle for bikini bottom rehydrated that came out recently. And the speedrun record for it's two minutes. How? I, I'm, it's got to be some kind of parallel universe thing where they just... They do a, a specific glitch and it sends them to the ending cutscene or something. Have, are you familiar with the um, with the meme that's been online where people have been speedrunning the intro to uh, people have been speedrunning the intro to American Dad? Yeah, I saw that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> where it's like people just keep doing more and more things where they're like, "Yeah, we do this where you do a frame skip here." <laughs> it's just like, shut up. Thank you, Mickey MT, for gifting a sub. Thank you. I'm sure Titty Fuck That Lasagna appreciates that. What? <laughs> oh, another reference. How All right, there we go. I did it in three minutes, six seconds. Oh, you almost, well, well the record is for three minutes for the entire game. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. No. This ain't my first level. No, it's the second level. That's, that's, that's how the joke. That's levels work, yeah. All right. Oh, that's blue door. Okay, okay. Jason Ringmaster says, I love you guys. Can't figure out why Mike sounds slightly like Lanny from Team Four Star. If you are both roommates or not. We're not roommates, no. Do I sound like Lanny Pator? I, I don't I don't hear it, but whatever, it's me. I I did really enjoy Lanny Pator's uh Yu Yu Haku show bridge back in the day. He did the first arc. The, the first season, if you will. It's a shame we didn't do the second because the, the Dark Tournament's probably the best arc of Yu Yu Hakusho. But so be it. It's like every every anime, though, is... It's a fighting tournament! Yeah. Fighting tournaments are fun, Zach. You don't like fun? I'll, oh, I'm... so you don't like Chex Quest, then? Yes. You've been chastising me. I'm, I'm pointing out your hypocrisy here. You can't use this as an opportunity to point out my hypocrisy. I'm doing that first. I'm just saying... I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that it's kind of like... Um... It's kind of like that's just butter the default. Call me a biscuit. No, hope I won't butter your butt. That's <laughs> Mike's job. You were saying what now? It's it's just kind of like the default for anime of it's a fighting tournament. Yeah. There were two fighting tournaments in the entire series. They did other things, but they had fighting tournaments because those are fun. Oh, you fell. Finished your work early tonight and managed to get back for the rest of the stream. Honestly thought it would take longer to edit. I love editing videos, but editing audio is super tedious. Yeah, well, maybe you should add subtitles to all your videos. That'll make it more tedious. Then the, then the video will take longer. Oh, missed a magnum. There we go. You should be running the second level now? Yeah, I'm trying to. All right. Careful. If you get soggy, the speedrun's gonna be uh, all washed up. <laughs> oh, 
I get it. It's a joke. It's fun. I get it. Yeah, it wasn't intentional, but okay. Picked up bowl of vegetables. You know, actual food, unlike checks. Oh, and that that's, uh... <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Wait, where's the yellow door? Am I going the wrong way? Probably. Uh, I think the yellow door was... I was supposed to stay... I was supposed to stay back there. Well, Shit! You screwed up this one, but whatever. Wait, wait, wait! Is that yellow door? No, it's blue door. Damn. Don't laugh! <laughs> Audio is only tedious because there's no visual component. I see. All right, well, the speed run isn't going great because I screwed up part of it already. Ah, whatever. We've seen what the Chex game has to offer. I don't think... Uh, you really want me to stop playing this game, don't you? I can't believe you want to keep on playing it. It was fun for a lark. The first hour was fine, but I don't think we need a retreading of it. You don't You don't want more stuff to work with? We could, we could do other stuff than play this game. Like what? You got the Hell game. Oh, Helltaker? Yeah, you said that was a good game, or yeah. you, you want to check it out? Let me finish this level. Okay, yeah. Finish your speedrun. You know, put a pause on that. We can continue the speedrun later. Um, where am I? Mark. Knock it off. Shake it off, green man. Shake it off. Oh! Ew, okay. That was armor. Neat. A little secret armor was that? Is yeah. It, is it a secret? We weren't supposed to find that, but you did, because you're so good at this game. <laughs> uh, I think this is this is clearly the best gun for speedrunning. Um, I didn't get the red key. Watching Chex Quest and eating pecan ice cream, you're now reliving your childhood. Yeah. Play Alien Isolation? Already did that! Got a full run on the channel. Yeah, but we can play it again. Play the Long Dark. There you go. We can go back to the Long Dark. Play Alien Isolation. I'd play Alien Isolation. I don't have that game installed right now. Or the Long Dark, for that matter. I would totally play Alien Isolation. I know you would. I know you love it. I just, I love that game. I will not fault you. I, I, Alien is like one of my all... What are... Okay, I got a good question. I, I'm, I was making fun of you, the text quest and everything, but I would... You know, I, it's Alien Isolation isn't actually a good game. I, I'll, it is actually a good game. I, I will not fault you for that one. I was about to get very mad at you. Yeah, I misspoke. Like, I'm sorry. What did you just say? Yeah. I meant to say Alien Isolation is a good, a good game. Instead, I said it sucked donkey balls. My mistake. I still beat the, the part-time. Yeah, not bad. All right. Am I going to get copyright stricken? No. It's music that was made for this game. Excellent. You find yourself stranded by the void. Pre oh, I can use a controller. Awesome. Can you? Beelzebub, the great fly, says... Oop, let me get this microphone for you. Greetings, little one. Please don't mind me. It is just I, good old Beelzebub. Oh, friendly Beelzebub. New game, please. Story of the Helltaker again. Interesting. Do you by any chance need a narrator? Why, please, allow me. It will be a pleasure. I thought he was going to legitimately offer to have a narrator for this. I guess not, no. You woke up one day with a dream. Harem full of demon girls. Yay? Not a nightmare, I guess, but I'm waking up in a cold sweat, so kind of? Because it's a really good idea. It was, however, not an easy dream to achieve. It could cost you your life. Okay. When demon girls are involved, no price is high enough, you said, and ventured down to hell. Oh, it's not a dream, it's an aspiration. I see. I'm down for that. Life advice. That's, that's life advice. Thank you. So first it was the New Vegas porn games, and now it's you guys playing Demon Sex Simulator. Jesus Christ, this channel's gone downhill fast. Yeah. Ha, that's the joke. We never were on top of the hill. We're going up very yeah. slowly. I don't want a harem. One woman is enough. Same. Oh, it's a puzzle game. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little puzzles. It's a semi puzzle, semi beat game. Okay, so it's not it's not a rhythm game. It's kind of a puzzle game. Yeah, it's a kind of a puzzle beat game. So do I? Oh, I kick him. Okay. All right. So solve it in a certain amount of moves or less. So left, right. Okay. 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 Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I cannot break that. Okay, I cannot no, break. No, but you that. can move them. Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Marcus Chronicle asked, "Hey Zach, I remember you guys talk about D and D in the past, and my friends and I are about to start a new campaign. So I'm curious, favorite build? Ah. 
I almost um, got it. Favorite build for... I don't know, man. I When I play D&D, I don't usually play by, like, 5e or anything like that. We usually play, like, more... Everything is more story-based. Got her. Yeah. Pandemic the Tired Demon. Name is Pandemonic. Hell's customer service. How may I serve you? Uh, maybe I can serve you instead. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sweet of you to offer. I could really use some coffee. I'm not without it. I'm not myself without it. Success! <laughs> yeah. You did it. You got the first one. Woohoo! I didn't realize it was going to be a, a narrative choice adventure game. So even if I rescue her with the puzzle, if I fail the conversation option, yeah, all right. I, so this game combines um, puzzles and also uh, branching narrative pathways. I can dig it. So I got to watch out for the spikes. So you can touch. Ow. If you stand on them, it does, a da it does one damage to you for every action you stand on it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh, so get, ask for some life advice next time. Since we travel together, I might as well do my job. We've noticed you exploring hell. It takes a lot of will. In hell, if you run out of will, you die. Walking through spikes takes twice the will. The trick is to spend as, as little time as possible on the strikes. Okay. How would you rate your overall satisfaction? Let's go one to ten. I'd say nine. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So... You should do, do, do that again, but give her a one or then give her a ten. <laughs> All right. I, oh, yeah. I can just go do, do it a second time. All yeah. right. Eh. Nah, not much. Uh, do, do ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Even it out. I don't think it's going to change anything. Well, oh, never got a ten before. <laughs> All right. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I obviously have to do this one. All right. So, I need 15, 14, 13, 12. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. There's no spikes on the right side, so that's where I probably want to go. Trucot Tebaya asks, Zach, I'm buying a lever action rifle. Any recommendations? Um. I guess it depends on. <laughs> Modus, the lustful demon. You and me, now. Deal! No time busy gathering girls. All right, if you insist. They always say that. And they always try to run away. I'll have to break your knees just in case. Bad ending! <laughs> she pulled on a sledgehammer. It was not going to be pretty. Oops. Um. <laughs> so I'm not actually allowed to do that. Lobotomized teddy bear. Yes, this is where the song has come from. Um, about the lever action, it depends on what caliber you're looking to build it in. If you're looking for 357 38 special, then go with the Rossi 92, but it will take some work to make it like run smoothly. Otherwise, um, Marlin makes some very good lever action rifles, and so does uh, Henry. And then it's going to depend on if you want a King's Gate loading action, or if you want a or King's Ga King's loading gate, or if you want the um, the tube fed. Oh, you're doing a 4570 government. I would probably go with um, Demon Harem. You poor fool! They whip you to shreds. I have to see this. <laughs> if you're going 4570 government marlin makes some very very good lever actions that are not that are tube fed but they don't have a stupid little thing that you gotta pull out on the end of it it's still all like the normal loading gate style oh, <laughs> oh okay i thought i was doing doing pretty well but apparently okay okay i think hmm all right all right so if I just go around these guys. Reggie Coy, I'm sorry about your tooth. <laughs> Alright, I think have, I have fun getting that one sorted out. I got it. I I didn't think I was gonna do it, but at the second try, boom. Cerberus, the triple demon. Are, are you, you a human? Are you a human? Oh, I was gonna we were gonna read it at the are, same time. Are you a human? How are, are you, real are, human? Are real human? Please take, take it. Take it says with you. Oh, you're so sexy. This is getting too easy. I have questions? Okay, I, I, I don't. I feel like no deal. No questions asked. Come with us. Yes, at last, it's time to corrupt the mortal realm. Hooray! Yay! Let's all make out. Ooh, your sister's hot. How do I feel about the Tar Twenty One? Tar Twenty One is interesting. Okay. It's a it's a decent bullpup. I I like the the thing I like about the Tar Twenty One and the Aug is that both of them have. Um. 
Uh, both of them have the the ejection port is just on the side. So if there's a problem with the rifle, you can just pull the charging handle back and tip it over and look into the ejection port. That's why I don't like the FN F2000 because the F2000 has an ejection port that's covered up by a little tiny door on the top. So if something goes wrong with the inside of the rifle where if you get like two rounds overriding each other or if you get a ruptured case or something, you basically have to disassemble the entire fucking rifle in order to be able to see what's going on with it. Hmm. As Mike solves this puzzle. Very poorly. Have I heard of Preber shooting? Shoot 22s in a leg and try to bounce the bullet from the reflection onto the target. Hold on a second. I got Molina the Sour Demon. Oh, gray, more brain dead idiots. Never seen your ugly face before. What are you playing at? I'd sure love to play with you. <laughs> this is delicious. Please insult me more. <laughs> I love being abused. No, let's play some more. Like, what? <laughs> like what? Video games? Sure, why not? As long as you're okay with turn-based strategies. Sure. <laughs> I'm kind of digging this 50-50 chance to fail after I solve the puzzle. I have to do it a second time. Um, what am I vaping and what device do I have? The, the liquid I have is like a, it's a blend of a bunch of different fruits and the device I have is the uh, Vaporesso Swag. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Oh, I do remember that about the, t the Tavor, that the Mars site's connected to the safety. I thought that was a really cool thing, and also that there's an infrared laser built into the Mars site. That is really cool. Okay, okay. Vexlate wants to know why you uninstalled Long Dark. Uh, because I have a limited storage space. And every, it's it's not that big a game, so if I ever want to play it again, I just re-download it. That's all. Um, Isred says, I'm debating buying a Schofield number three when I feel safe going to the ranges again. Schofield number threes are awesome. It's one of the revolvers that I want more than anything. But I also don't really want to pay $800 for a revolver that I'm really Ouch. barely ever going to shoot. Dang it. All right. Screw that up. So obviously, come down here, kick this guy. I think I got to kick uh, that one. There we go. Shrocket says, I, like how, I love how Mike hardly reads chat, and then there is Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I do read the chat. I just don't try to interrupt Zach when he's talking. And now I'm trying not to interrupt Zach when he's talking again. Oh man. Um, dang it. What is the solution for this one though? Eh. Oh, got it. Nice. It's the bitch demon. Yo, I heard about your harem. I'm in. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Too bad I'm coming anyway. Go ahead, try and stop me. <laughs> 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 God, why do I keep smoking I these love, things? I love all the drawings for this game. <laughs> They're not uh, bad. Kino Snow Fox says you're too good for this world. <laughs> it's very kind of you. Thank you. That's well, what I am too good for this world. That's why they sent me to hell to collect demons. All right. Okay. That one looks like an angel. Okay, so. Oh, oh, man, I can't get this one down because if I do, it's going to block that. Uh, let's see. All revolvers, seem, all revolvers seem overpriced to me. Oh, I'm so mad. I've screwed this up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you, and remember, you can always ask for advice. Uh, okay. Don't look, for, don't look at me for puzzle hits. I'm not a nerd. Maybe go kill yourself with some spikes. It'll be amusing. My sister's always like that. I can't believe you invited her. Yeah, what were you thinking, man? Glad you invited Malinka, though. She spends too much time all alone playing the mostly nerdy video games I've ever seen. Can you, can you please just shut up, please? You know how turned on she gets while playing them? This one time, she was solving a Rubik's Cube? Kill one of us, me or her, please, fast. Kill them both! Kill yourself! What? Why did I pick this advice? What do you think you're doing? Hey, wait! <laughs> you had enough. You decided to follow Zarda's advice and kill yourself. Brilliant. 8 bit Moose subscribed at tier 1. Thank you. Thank you, 8-Bit Moose. All revolvers seem overpriced to me for what they are. Yeah, it's... I mean, most guns now, like pistols, they're, the frame is just made of polymer, which is super cheap to make. Oh. All right. That's simple enough. So revolvers require a lot of machining and hand fitting. That's why they're more expensive. Um, Shit. Platinum Turtle says... Ah, fuck you. Platinum Turtle says, Zach, does pineapple belong on pizza? No, it fucking doesn't. It's a fruit. That's gross. Um, so down here. Oh, obviously. 
Got Nathan it. Nathan Dilmer says, can we just keep Zach as the chat reader? Sorry, Mike, you've been demoted. <laughs> I'm I'm hurt. Sorrente, we have a Discord server. Shit. I'm here again. It's like the Mike Burnfire Discord thing. I can't remember. You can just restart it. I know. I'm just getting my frustration out on this rock. Punching boulders like Chris Redfield over here. says, I was issued a Galil in training because I pissed off my instructor by association. Well, joke's on her. I love the Galil. Too bad I never got a chance to use the bottle opener. Yes, the Galil has a bottle opener built into it. Seems weird. Yeah, there was another Swiss rifle that had a bot right. that the first version of it didn't have a bottle opener. And then soldiers kept breaking, soldiers kept breaking the bayonet lug on it because they kept using it to open bottles. So their second version of the rifle, they built it with a bottle opener in it. Dang it, I'm still, I'm stuck at this impasse here. I'm trying to get the little lady down here in the corner, but every time I kick this rock, it's in my way now. No, not the Galil, the Swiss army gun. The Galil has a bottle opener, but there was a Swiss army rifle that also had a bottle opener in it. Hmm. That's what I was, that's what I was referencing. How about squid? The Japanese put squid on pizza. I love squid, so. Well, there's no accounting for that, I guess. Is it like a Pac-Man thing? Can I go right here? No, I cannot. I can't. No. This one took me a long time, too. So. Oh, you've already played this. All right. Yeah. That's okay. why I wanted you to play it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, in Israel, soldiers kept ruining the feed lips of, of magazines by opening bottles, so they just put a bottle opener on the rifle. What caliber would I get the number three in? 4570 or, or 38 Special or 45 Long Colt? I probably would get it in 38 special because I want to be able to actually shoot it on a regular basis and not pay $50 a box of ammo. Zach, can you give me a clue? Because I really can't figure it out. There's, hold on, there's one right down here. Yeah. So this rock right here, if I kick it, I'm just kind of screwed. Yeah. But if I kick that one that's all the way up there. Let me, let me try. Right, one up to my top right. Mm. Ah, I fuck you, rock! I honestly don't remember how to do this one, so let me try it really quick. Yeah, all right. I'm, th I'm looking at it. I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm, I'm racking my head on this one. It doesn't matter if I kick that one on the bottom or that one to the right. That mm, might be a solution. Do, do, do. Ouch. Yeah. That's the same problem. You come down here, and you got that rock. Yeah. And those rocks are just always there. If you kick that one on the bottom of the right, you've screwed yourself. Zach, you should review guns and gun platforms. Yeah, but if I'm going to do that, I'm not doing it on Mike's channel because I don't want Mike's channel to turn into Zach, Zach reviews guns all the time. Whatever. I don't care. I don't, want you to, I don't want your channel to turn into a gun channel. It's our channel. Screw it. I, my main reason for that is because YouTube does not look kindly on uh, on gun channels. Oh, that's true. They have difficult. A lot of those gun channels have had trouble with that. Wait, can you just kick that rock on top of that guy? I'm pretty sure I did that in the first level. No. Dang. See, that's the problem, though. I got to control my mouse here. I do not. Well, that rock that's to the, to the top left of the yellow lock. If you kick that one towards the goober, he. That is screwed. If you kick the rock above it down on top of it, you're screwed again. But there's no other way to get down there. Nathan Dimler says, instead of Mike Burnfire, go with Zach Boil Water. <laughs> um, Zach Moisten Water. Dana Wibuski gave us 10 bits. Oh, thank you. I'll oh, your 10 bits. Yeah. Vexlight asked, Mike, the last time I asked you about it, you said you didn't really have any hobbies. Did you use the quarantine to try anything new? I just did a lot of video editing. You, you saw all those solo mic videos without Zach? It's pretty much what I spent my quarantine time, quarantine, quarantine time doing. That was a weird, that was a weird tongue twister to have there. It was. I spent a lot of quarantine doing video editing, so that's my hobby. That's my biggest hobby. Is, yeah, hmm. Can you actually break these? Hold on a second. Let me get this for a second. You can't, you can't break any of them. You can only move them. Okay, there were a, there was a varying number of cracks on them. I thought maybe you could do that, but never mind. I thought maybe you could just spend five moves breaking a rock, and that was how you're supposed to do it. The Rodimized Teddy Bear said that he got to shoot a bunch of uh, World War One machine guns on a farm in Pennsylvania, including a Vickers Maxim and a Hotchkiss. 
when he was working at his histor- as a historian for the World War One Centennial Commission. Hmm. Which would be really cool. This is only puzzle number six, and it's still a difficult one. It's getting down there. It's not the problem. But the, you got plenty of moves to get down there. They get they get forty three. They give you forty three moves to get down there. Because I know a rock is supposed to go into that crevice. That's why it's there. Is it? Again, it could just be a red herring. I don't know. Because that doesn't seem to be the thing that's holding us back. It's these rocks down here. I'm missing something, and I can't remember what it was. Okay. This game only has, like, I think two or three tracks. Okay, I think I figured out what we need to do. I thought there was another one. I need to get that key without pushing this block all the way down. That's what I need to do. Yes. I need to get that key without kicking this block down. Um, okay, how about this? No, it's not going to work. Try kicking that one down. Beat up the guy. No, no, you can't kick that one down. No, I can't kick this another way. Now they're both in my way. Damn. Damn you, damn you, damn. So mad. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of reverse engineering this puzzle, but I can't figure out. I cannot kick this one all the way down. If I do that, I'm kind of screwed. Data Wibuski, yes, I have played tactical shooters such as Squad, Escape from Tarkov. I've played Insurgency, I've played Escape from Tarkov, and I really don't like how everybody just fucking aimbots in. It, I feel like all of the AI in Escape from Tarkov just immediately just pops you in the face. Uh, no, it's not the Italians that have the best MREs, it's the French. I never had one. I had the MR, a French MRE and then I gave it to you because you said you wanted to eat it so much. Yeah. Never really sampled it. Probably should have so I would have had better life experiences, but whatever. It was really good. <laughs> yeah. What is my favorite 40k sub-faction? Um, uh, I'm going to kill them both and then use their corpses and mount on top of them and climb over these rocks. Okay. Just leave them be. You'll get used to it eventually. Damn it. That didn't work. But uh, He likes the Adeptus Custodes. Those are really cool. Um, oh, that was the question. Thank you for, uh, John Dor Plays YouTube said, Mike, what program do you use to edit your videos? I use Adobe Premiere. I used to use, I think the other, no, I, I pretty much used Adobe Premiere the entire time. I've always used Adobe Premiere. It might not be the best program, but it's what I've, I've gotten familiar with. It's how I can do it the best. So why, why fix it ain't broken? Um, my favorite factions in Warhammer 40k are... Oh, 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 oh! Now go down. Oh, no. Nope. Do exact... Start over. Nope, I got it. There you go. Grab the key. Go back down. Beat up that guy. Oh, no, you, you fucked up. No, nope. wait. No, you didn't. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you were so close. Figured okay, you got now. it now, though. Okay, how the hell did I do that? I'm All gonna... right, so kick got... the middle one down. I kicked one of these down. Kick the middle one. Wait, is that what I did? Oh, no. Start over. Kick the rightmost one down. Oh, that's right. Hold on. I made it. Yeah, that's right. Boop. 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 There you go. Boop. And do I kick this? No, I can't kick that one. Now go left. Wait. Do I kick that guy down? There? Nope. Go nope. left. Oh, that's right. That's right. Down. Kick. Ugh. I take damage. Kick again. Kick that thing again, huh? Yep. If I do this, I'm going to take two damage. That's fine. But there's no other option, really. Now kick that up. Okay, and now I can go down there and kick that. Oh, yeah. uh, you might have to start over now. Uh, yeah, I think I did. Yep. I'm try <laughs> trying to take this slow now. All right. Uh, looking forward to the dark tide at all, Zach. I don't... I have no idea. I don't follow 40k that much. I'm... And I keep forgetting... My favorite factions of 40k are the, um, Astra Militarum and the Tau. Those are my, my two favorite factions. Wait, am I doing this right? Probably not. Ah! I have to move the leftmost block first? You sure? All right. I don't think so. Because now I can't get down there. Oh, I see. I see. 
That's, oh, damn it. That's not right. Whoa, wait, hold up. What? It's a Left 4 Dead clone. Is the Imperial Guard essentially made by the guys who did the Left 4 Dead clone? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> damn. Wait, are you talking? So is Dark Tide just like the, the Warhammer 40k version of Vermintide? Oh my god, I have to play that. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm looking that up right now so that I can remember it for later. I am having... Holy shit! Holy shit, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm looking that up right now so that I can know when it comes out. Because I have played Vermintide before. Oh my oh, god, yes. We got it. Azazel, uh, Azazel, the curious angel. Oh my heavens, what would a living human be doing in hell? Most unusual. I hope I don't screw this up. Looking for demons to slay? Oh, you too? Let me guess. Thesis on modern sin? Or is it demonology? We should join forces. Yes, yes we should. Welcome to the harem. Thank you for telling me about that, Quantra. That sounds freaking awesome. The Quans? What? What? Qu Quantrus told Qu me about that. Quantrus is the name of a game? No, Quantrus is the name, the person that told me about that. Oh, what's the, the name of the game? Uh, it's Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Because I'm trying to solve this puzzle over here, but I hear you freaking out in the background. What are you doing? Uh, there's apparently, there's a Warhammer 40k game coming out that's a first-person shooter where you play as four, um, four basically just regular humans with an Inquisitor telling you to, ah, to do stuff. The best, the expendable <laughs> humans. Lobotomized teddy bear said Azazel is an angel that introduced humans to a forbidden knowledge. Please take your time. Miss Modius here is sharing with me her considerably warped view on love. Things get so violent, so modernization is important. People die if you love them too much. How fascinating. Please expand on that. I want to know all the details. I want to know all the details. All right, so obviously, fuck you, fuck you. Hmm. Ah, damn it, there's a key up there. Yep, but you have to kill that guy to get to the key. Ow, 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 ow. That was not the right to do. <laughs> Maybe it is. Shit, how did I fuck that up? <laughs> fuck that. Have I seen the Tavor TS-12? It's real weird. Yes, it is. Yes, it is very odd. The thing that I think is really strange about the Tavor TS-12 is on the back of the receiver, there's there's two holes in the receiver that's just covered up with a little detachable plate. Um, and you can take one of the, you can take that plate out when you disassemble the gun and put it on the other side, which leads me to believe the gun was designed to be fired right or left-handed. But I, I think you would have to actually change out the entire bolt mechanism to get a left-hand feeding bolt. And it's really, it's really, weird because it says specifically in the manual and on the website that they have no plans of making a left-handed version but it's already set up to make a left-handed version the only thing they would have to do is sell a new bolt face for it mike doesn't know that much about warhammer 40k it's fine you don't have to correct him here on snowbox oh damn i was so close you were but i think all you have to do is uh don't kill a skeleton in top left it's pointless I have to kill him, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get that rock out of the yeah, way. I think you kind of have to kill him. So that get that one out of the way, so I can push the rocks. Kill this guy, and uh, this guy. So I gotta go down here. Oh, you here. probably you didn't have to kill that one. I don't think. Oh, I kind of screwed that up. Well, I do need to kill him. Hold on. So get. Uh, Marcus Chronicle says, kick the the top left block up one before getting the key. Leave the rest until you get the key. Oh, okay. So that one. Uh, okay, I get it. That works. Um. Um. No, that's not right. Somebody, I have a buddy who ended up working for IWI. I can ask him about that. Fantasy Grey Cat gifted a bunch of little thingies. Eight bits. They all showed up as eight individual ones, which is weird. That's how Twitch works, all right. Mm. Shot Show has had just completely garbage products for like the last two years, so. I obviously need to get this rock out of my way. Yes. 
and this rock out of the way as well. Now I can push that block in the far left all the way over. Wait, no, that doesn't work either. If you push the skeleton up one and then push the block and grab the key on the way out. So don't kill, don't kill this skeleton. Just push him up one, push the block, and then grab the key. Oh, okay. And that'll save a move. That'll well, save a move. So I do, I can do this, and this, 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 this. That does save a move. Yeah, good idea. But then I'm at the same problem here where I got these to deal with. That's that. Oh, that explains it when he was saying that killing the top when the top left is pointless. That makes sense. So that block, I'm gonna kick over here. And that one. Mm. Yes, I have heard of the Stinger machine gun. It's freaking cool. And I guess there's like one company that built a reproduction of it, which is pretty neat. I think he might got it. Maybe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. No! Oh! How? Oh. <laughs> Nathan Dilmer blames me for making him buy the soundtrack. Of what? This game. No, it's not bad, so. Can't fault you for that. Okay. No, wait, that. Hmm. Obviously. Wait, is that Red Harry? No, because I need to kick that one up too and get this one out of the way. Yeah. Is that that, that actually guy might... down there might be a red herring? You probably don't have to kill him. What? That guy to my right here? This guy. Well, I need to because otherwise, if I don't waste a move, then I can't go down this without getting hit by spikes. Hmm. So this needs to go up. That guy needs to get out of the way so he I can said, kick this uh, one up. Someone says you he doesn't think you need to move the bottom middle rock. Oh, yeah, you probably don't need to... What, that one right here that I just kicked? Yeah, oh, start it start it over. All right. And get to right before you kick that bottom rock. So this one. Yep. Get Killed. that guy, that guy. If you just kick this rock out, you can just go whoop, 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 up here oh. and kick that one. I see. All right. So you don't have to kick that bottom one. And that means I don't have to kill this guy either then. Yeah. So this, oh, now I have to kill him. Now you have to kill him, but now you can zip around. Nope, uh, that didn't work. It took even more moves. Damn. Knock, <laughs> knock. Open up, demon. What's up, baby? Oh! This, this demon coming up is my favorite one. This one right here is not yours? Really? No, what? this one coming up, it, this one is my favorite one. If I can get to her. FBI, open up. <laughs> That's one of my favorite, the, the, the 320 is one of my favorite handguns. It's a very good striker-fired semi-auto polymer polymer-framed handgun. I got it. You got it? Probably not. I think you, I believe in you. Oh come oh! on! <laughs> You're killing me here. So I don't have to move that one to the top right just yet. How many guns do I own now? All right, let's see. U.S. military issue 1911 that was built in 1918. I probably didn't need to say all of that. <laughs> um, so, 1911, 226, um, P320. Wait. Oh, come on! Uh, Browning Buckmark. Uh, AR-15, Styrog, MP5. Uh, M16. So, five, eight, I think? Am I, unless I'm forgetting one. I might be. Zach, how would you pronounce my last name? It's... Oh, it, text started moving. How would you pronounce my last name? It's... Maserati. Maserati? Gorilla K. Um... I think the military issue 320 has a plate installed on the other side of the takedown, uh, on the other side of the takedown lever that you basically can only remove with a special tool, and that is literally to keep board soldiers from ripping their entire gun apart. So you can field strip the gun, you just can't actually take the rest of it apart. I'm so close! Give me like one more space to move, that's all I really need. 
Look, this one needs to get out of the way. Uh-huh. All right, now don't kick that guy. I, I definitely have to. Otherwise, unless, unless there's a way I can get around without killing either of them, but there isn't. Because now I can walk on this, no problem. Get this guy out of the way. Get that. Ah. Get, I gotta kick that up. I definitely have to kick that one up. Have I ever shot a PPK? Yes. Did it bite me? No. I didn't really enjoy shooting it, though. It's just okay. Have I ever... Have I ever come across any butchered SKSs? Yes, I have seen plenty of bubbled SKSs. We gotta be able to cut a move out somewhere. I need that key. Mm -hmm. I'm right there too. All right, let me see. So what you're doing is you're going up. I'm not kicking that one to the top right just yet. I can save that for later without having to make the extra trip. So trend. left? Yeah, I go left two. One, two. And I definitely have to kick that boulder above me up one. So I kill that guy out of the way, kick that boulder up one. Do you have to? Uh, I believe I do, yeah. Because if I don't, then I can't move that center boulder to the left. Yeah, and yeah. That's why I kill that guy that's down there. And then... Do I have to kill this guy down here? Which is my next step, usually. Try just kicking the rock over one. If I kick this rock over one... Oh, yeah, and that's going to screw me That's going to block that out of the way. So I can't do that. You can't kick stones in the skeletons. No. no, we tried that. So I have to kill this guy. Get this guy out of the way. I have to kick this rock. I can't go back the way I just came because it's a long way around. So one. Move over. Key. There. And now I'm back. And now I try to go up here. But I'm still one space He's short. One space short. So, what if I kick this up? Mike, you're doing everything right, except the bottom rock needs to go all the way to the left. The bottom rock needs to go all the way to the left. Oh, I get it. I see. Uh, thank you. I get it now. So, fuck you. Get out of my way. I need to kill you so I don't get stabbed on these spikes. Kick this rock, and then kick this rock, I think. Key. No, that's not right still. All right. No, that can't be right. Someone's freaking out right now because he's, he's bottom rock go all the way. The left rock is a red herring. Try kicking the right one up and the bottom one. I think I figured it out. The left rock is a red herring. Try kicking the right rock up one and the bottom middle right one. So kick that one right one. Okay, so you're saying kick this one up and move this one to the right. Yes. Will that even work? Is that, that'll that put that block right here. That that, that might work. That, how would that work? Because well, you're going to kick this one and go, whoo! I don't, oh. I don't think that's going to work, but... So try, you're saying... Just try it. Like this? Yeah. Try that. And then... No. Kill him. No. no I don't kick see Kick the how... rock right. I don't see any way kick for this the rock to work. Right. If I kick this rock to the right, then... Kick the rock right. Okay. Kick that one up. Oh, okay. Up. Oh. Yeah! Apparently we just solved that puzzle. All right, thank you. Now, nah, this is a tough one. This is a difficult series of puzzles. Uh, it took some work. Want to join my harem? I just skipped it in the menu. I didn't realize that was an option. It is an option. It took some work. You don't have to ask me. I'd never miss a party. All right. Lobotomized teddy bear said, what's the most dangerous thing you've seen brought, brought in? What's the most dangerous thing you have seen on a gun brought into the shop? Somebody, uh, brief story time. <laughs> All right. Someone brought a belt-fed machine gun into my shop. 
and they said, um, yeah, it fires with the safety on. Uh, no, that's a problem. They set the machine gun down on my floor, and it literally went off into the wall. Jesus. Because they hadn't thought to actually take the belt out of the machine gun. Hmm. Okay. No, this gun fires when the safety is on, so I'm just going to put the safety on it and then set it down on the floor. See, told you. Uh, yeah, it's I just um, killed five guys. So don't say I didn't warn you. It was a, it was an M249 machine gun. Um, they, they actually somebody actually had to stop me from just trying to beat the shit out of the guy because <laughs> I he could have just killed me uh -huh. with a belt fed machine gun. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically the sear was really worn out, and the just quick summary, the way a belt-fed machine gun works is generally the bolt is locked all the way to the rear, and there's just part of the trigger that holds the bolt in place. When you pull down on the trigger, or when you pull the trigger that pulls the thing down, the bolt goes forward and it fires. So basically it was worn out, so even with the safety off, when you would set it down, it would jump it enough that the entire bolt would slam forward and the gun would go off. That's a lot of technical what's out. I don't understand any of that, but I, I understand guns going off when the safety's yeah, on. Yeah, it scared the shit out of me. I went partially deaf and got real fucking mad at him. Uh, understandably so. Oh no, this was while I was in the military. He didn't have the machine gun in his car. He just walked down to my shop and brought it to me. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yes, hello. It's Lucifer, the CEO of hell. Mm, we meet at last. You proved yourself worthy of passing all of my trials, motherfucker. <laughs> Incessant grunting continues. <laughs> Pledge your soul to me and I'll make you my most treasured slave. Yes, queen. Eager little soul. That bad ending. As you knelt, she planted a kiss on your forehead and your life melted away. Uh, Jasper me gifted a hundred bits and said, her, 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 incessant grunting continues. Goo, Zach, good. Keep making me content. <laughs> Any uh, permanent hearing stuff? No, apparently my hearing is still very good. All things considered, you know, despite the circumstances. No, apparently I still have, like, really good hearing. Despite the circumstances. It's just very selective. <laughs> yeah, is an R all I went, I went to a 249 range at one point, and I didn't, uh, they didn't have ear pro there, and I forgot to bring ear pro with me, so I just took some cigarette butts and jammed them in oh, my ears. Oh, jeez, <laughs> Yeah, don't use menthol cigarettes as, as earplugs. Oh, really? What was the side effect of that? Uh, you start sweating, and it burns real fucking bad. <laughs> Why are my ears smoking? Why do my ears hurt so bad right now? <laughs> wonder how many times, oh, you wonder how many times I almost died from accidents. Did you have it? Did you keep a running tally? Um, let's see. There was. Hold on, let me recruit this person in my harem first. What are you trying to accomplish? You're gonna enslave demons to your will? Call me master. Ask for permission before you speak. I still have to teach you your place. Shut! No, <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're getting to the more complicated things where I'm gonna pass multiple speech checks. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Shut up and join my harem. How dare you! I offer coffee, turn-based strategies, and chocolate pancakes. Really? Okay. You're lucky everything for pancakes. Yeah, if you get the if you get the deluxe version of this game, it comes with a recipe on how to make pancakes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's okay. That's a thing. Gotcha. Demon girl got. Nice. Now you just gotta figure out how to escape. Oh shit. Life advice? If you can't do it, just skip to the pause menu. I don't want to be here all day. Look at this mess. It seems no one's used Hell's Gate in quite some time. Makes me wonder how you got here in the first place. It looks like you can do miracles. He somehow got you out of your office after all. True, he's the first one to not take that slave offer. Haha, <laughs> little does you know I did. For a second there, I hoped he would give you a slave offer. Don't give people ideas that will get them murdered. Oh, come on. I'm sure you'd enjoy some maid roleplay. <laughs> Justice is great. Justice is my favorite. Um, Do you consider see. being shelled as accidental or not? Well, it's not really accidental, but I mean, you're there in a war zone. Lobotomized teddy bear, yes, I saw the AKS-74U on, uh, on, um, on Forgotten Weapons. Hmm. And yes, this is the game that all that recent Rule 34 porn is based off of. That's how I found out about it. Of course! <laughs> <laughs> I, there were just... There were so many artists on Twitter that were drawing stuff from this game, and I was like, all right, fine, I'll look into it. That's the thing that got you, all right? You know, puzzle games aren't really my thing. You said you, you told me it was going to be a beat game. If you had told me it was a puzzle game, I would have said, fuck you, you do it. It's a tough one. I mean, I'm going to sit here for like 20 hours figuring it out, as I always do. Got the key. Fuck, 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 fuck. 
There you go. If you don't want to do a, if you don't want to solve a puzzle, just kill yourself. Puzzle doesn't have to be solved then. That's the solution to the puzzle, all right. You can't also just skip it in the menu. Yeah, that's true. But if you're, you're just gonna be skipping puzzles, you're gonna skip the easy puzzle and go to the harder puzzle. Yeah, sure. All right. Mike ain't no bitch. <laughs> that's where you're wrong. I'm very much someone's bitch. So, I I need to get to that. Obviously locked door. I don't like in the bondage. I just don't know if he's the Kong or the fuck. <laughs> Obviously the Dom. Duh. Have you not been paying attention? I forget how I did this one. I may have skipped it. <laughs> Possibly. You gotta reverse engineer this puzzle. How do you get to that locked door with these two rocks down in front of it? Well, this one has to be kicked upwards. The far right one? Well, if you no, do... No, 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 no. That can't be right. Yeah, because if you kick the far right one up in the way, then they're, they're, they're kind of screwed. But if you kick the far... You have to kick that one in the center up. Kick that one to the right of it to the right. You have to kick that one in the center up towards the door. Mm -hmm. Which means you can kick this one out of the way and then kick that one up so you can get to the door and get in there. Which means that somehow you have to get to that key while also kicking that rock to the left of it on top of it. Which means you might have to get the key before you try and get the door. Yeah, see, you gotta do that. But I think you have to have gotten the key before you start kicking that rock over there. Okay, I think I, I think I'm gonna try something. All right, so get this one out of the way. Get this one out of the air. Jasmine gave gifted 100 bits and said, by the way, Zach, I always loved the AN94 ever since I saw it in Battlefield 1, and I never knew I wanted any other gun until you showed me the Matiba. Okay. It's so pretty. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. I'm in your Twitch chat typing. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh. ay ya ay ya Got the key. Now I gotta get this rock out of the way. Get this one out of my way. Ah, oh, damn. I'm so close. If I could kick this one rock to the right. Damn. Yes, I'm saying buying a 500 Nitro for $23,000 is a bad idea. Um, Chowmeister had said something about how a guy at a gun shop refused to buy a gun and said he was going to come back and get him fired because the, the M1A said... 762 NATO on the barrel and he wanted it to fire 308. They're the same cartridge. No bird further what are bird furries called? What's what? What are bird furries called? Are those feathers? Bird fur I I don't know. I've avians? never I think they're avians. I've never heard of bird furries. I think a bird furry is an avian. They just call them furries. No one cares. Oh god. Um not a child said, okay, this is what you have to do. Kick that rock, then kick the other rock, next kick this <laughs> rock, grab the key, and then kick a rock, and finally profit. Thank you. Now all of our problems are solved. Damn it, your solution didn't work. Damn you, damn you, damn you. What is the worst gun I've ever shot? Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. I don't enjoy it. Damn, all right. Harsh. I don't enjoy shooting them. To me, a 500... Yes, you have the largest caliber. Will you have... One of the largest caliber revolver cartridges that you can get. It's not fun to shoot. But if we're going by like accuracy, I, I don't know, high points are pretty crap, but I mean, at least a high point works. At least for the most part, when you get a high point, you know that when you pull the trigger, it's probably going to fire. Probably. I'm doing everything right, but kicking that rock. I'm pretty sure step one, get out. Step two, get the key. But then step three is getting up to that door and I've kicked the rocks into the wrong position. Why don't you try... Oh, oh, kick this one up twice. I can't kick it up twice. Why not? One. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Basic rules say I can't do that. Um, Osterreich said, any experience with the Ruger precision rifle, would you say it's fine for the price? Yeah, it's good. Like, honestly, the Ruger Americans are really good rifles for the price point they're at. Wait, I'm not working today. Why am I giving you gun advice? <laughs> um, what about a Beowulf? I, I don't know. I don't think any, for the most part, most guns aren't really a good investment because you're pretty much only going to get the, 
you might get the same amount you put into it. So they're not exactly a good investment, regardless of what gun people tell you about how guns are a great investment. They're just an okay investment. Um, Man. Kind of want a Bergera HMR Pro. Bergeras are absurdly good rifles for the price point. Offbeat Crow subscribed with Twitch Prime. Well, thank you, Offbeat Crow. Okay, so I must be going around this doing it wrong. I have to... Okay, I definitely have to kick this one to the center. Yes. And this one out of my way so I can get to the lock. Yes. But I have to get to the... I have to be able to get to the key. How do I do that? Kick the one under the door up and the one next to it left. What if I did this? Oops. Uh, Wasted a move. But. Yeah. So now... Now how are you oh, going to get oh, to the uh, key? Oh, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, you were close. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I did that. Fuck. Um, I think I was kicking this one out of the way. Polar Bear J highlighted a message and said, Zach, I would like to know what you think about the HK-45. I used to be the world's biggest HK fanboy. I realize now that they are just very expensive guns. Having said that, the HK-45 is an amazing 45 caliber handgun. What do I think of the Pancor Jackhammer? I'm about to ban you. <laughs> They're not that bad. You're just fictional make-believe guns. What is the dumbest gun I own? I'm probably the MP5. You own an HK Mark 23. I'm jealous. I want a Mark 23. Yeah, probably the MP5. I mean, what the hell am I going to do with it? Do you know how many gun people exist that are not crazy political nut jobs? Zach is like one of five people that we can talk to. <laughs> yeah. Dang am it. I going to get Cyberpunk when it's out? Yes! I want to play that game so bad. And yes, EMR Fish, I own an MP5. It is it is the HK SP5, so it's the civilian version of the MP5. Obviously, get this out of my way. Wait, do I have to do that? I think I have. I do have to do that, yeah. Uncle Russian said, Hello, Zach. Hello, Mike. I have made a mistake, so I'm trying to get all achievements from Fallout 4, and one of them is I have to do an arena fight. I thought I could assign a death claw of the red team pad, and I can't. I'm doing an unarmed playthrough. There's an albino death claw, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Huh, that sucks. How do I feel about the P90? It's super cool. It's maybe not the most comfortable gun to hold on to. From an engineering tran or from an engineering standpoint, the M. Ugh. From an engineering standpoint, the P90 is one of my favorite guns of all time. To shoot, it's okay. I saw a little bit of Cyberpunk's live stream today. I'm probably gonna play Nomad on my first one. Um, Marcus Chronicle says, I'll give you a hint, right two, up one, right four. I'd... Right two, up one, I, I, nope. I'm not good at puzzle games, sorry. I'm just gonna be keep on doing the same thing over and over. I'm trying to figure out what step I can cut out to make Mike this is, work. Mike is slowly going insane in the background. Well. Am I prepared for the genital customization in Cyberpunk? I mean, whatever. He's gonna make a normal character. Maybe later I'll make a girl character with the boobies. Dang it! Open it! That's that. <laughs> well, I'm stumped. I don't know. Skip the level. I don't, I don't want to skip. If I don't want to, I don't oh, wanna, just skip it. I don't want to do this level anymore. Just skip it. It's fine. I don't want to do this game. Just skip the level. You'll get to you'll get to a fun part next. You might enjoy the next part. Oh, let's skip this easy puzzle. Get to a harder puzzle. Maybe I'll enjoy the harder the, puzzle. The next part isn't a puzzle. Oh. You truly thought you could just walk away after all you have done, and I'm now dead. All right, can't skip the puzzle. It felt as if you've died a thousand deaths, yet as the flame subsided, somehow I was still alive. I only just found you, trespasser, so don't die on me yet. You will spend a lot of time together, you and I. Who, who, who am I talking to? What's going on? It's Judgment, the High Prosecutor. Ignite the Sin Machine! <laughs> Justice must be made. Okay. Ow, okay. Don't get hit by those. <laughs> Alright. This is less of a puzzle game and more of an action game. Now we just changed up genres now. Yeah, how do you like the Sin Machine, Trespasser? It's alright. I'd add better. Surrender and let it consume you. Mm. <laughs> Don't give up. You need to get us out of here. 
And I'm just looking forward to my coffee. Leave hope, his, seat is, his fate is sealed. Judgment, dear, this man may not know it, but he belongs to me. Could you please not damage him? Real work is about to begin. Haha, I can you I can move as many times as I want. Now we're getting some really dangerous territory. Ow. Ow. And this part is not randomized. The chains always do the exact same pattern. I see. Alright, stage two though. Ow. Oh, bro. What the fuck? I thought this was Chex Quest. <laughs> I'd settle for Chex Quest at this point. What is my opinion of the Marines' overall adoption of the Trijicon ACOG as their main optic? Uh, I like the ACOG. I think it's really good. Mike, did you qualify with Iron Sights at Marine Boot Camp? Yes, Iron Sights all the way. I, I never really had an ACOG. I mean, you were a, you were technically a, uh, were you a reserve or you were a reserve unit, right? Yeah, I was in the reserves. Yeah. Mike was a reserve unit, so I wouldn't presume that they were like high on the priority list for getting new equipment. No, we didn't even have the A4 or the M4. We just had the A2. Chains that bind you here are made of things that brought you here. Your ego, your greed, your lust, and you're you're your own torturer. Enough! I already had to stand down at once, said Satan. No authority stands above punishment. Keep going, Judgment. You're on a roll. Yes, please continue. This is A-plus material so far. I'm supposed to be the goddamn queen of hell. Why is nobody ever listening to me? Mm, sorry, oh, Satan. Poor Lucifer. All right, here we go. Mode three. You know, mode two is hard enough for me. Ow. I don't know. You made it through mode two without taking any damage, so. Uh, did I? Yeah, you did. The second time you did it, you made it through without taking any damage. Well, good luck having that happen a second time here. Oh. Oh! Oh god, no! Come on, that's cheating! <laughs> Seriously, there's 14 chains in my way, whatever. I'm, using, I'm saying fuck just as many times as when I'm using the chains, yes. Suck my balls. <laughs> Wait, purple ones, those are bad for you. God, stop. Stop having 18... <laughs> it's, you know, it's bad enough when they spawn a cross of chains on me, so I can't, no matter where I go, I'm just fucked. All right, I'm gonna try and go for this one on the top left first. Do scopes on pistols piss me off, or is it, or is it just, is it just you? Like, like, what do you mean by scopes on pistols? Do you mean like magnified optics, or do you mean red dots? Because I have a red dot on my A320. Come, seriously, it spawned like three chains on top of me at once. I had to type in three directions to not get screwed there. Like I said, it's not random patterns. It's the same pattern every time. Cool, this pattern is terrible. Program better pattern into it. Ah, uh, so this is how you felt while I was playing Alien Isolation. <laughs> Only instead of watching, instead of you getting angry because I'm playing poorly, I'm getting angry because I'm playing poorly. Oh cool, OneDrive hasn't signed in. <laughs> Thank, thanks for that notification, Microsoft. <laughs> He's like actually doing well, and the computer is like, no, no, no! Fuck it, the computer rebooted him. It did like reboot. I don't, yeah, it, let, it gave me a notification. Hey, that OneDrive program that you never use isn't signed in. Thank you. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, well, three hours later. You don't, you don't actually have to finish if you don't want to. Oh, am I getting close to the end? This is the end of the game. Wait, really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. It's not a long game. Oh, okay. Come. Yay! Round three done. Can we break free of these shackles? I wonder. Hope leads to despair. Bent. A disappear. Dis disappointment leads to, uh, to despair. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Mike suddenly likes this game well, a lot. <laughs> I, 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 I am a lot happier when changes aren't you being used on me. And <laughs> well now. Looks like the Bondur has become the Bondage. Oh, uh, Ryoran gifted a whole lot of bits. <laughs> Thank you, Ryoran. You must be- <laughs> Mike confirmed to Dom. <laughs> <laughs> you must be cursed, Malinka. You just found a fellow nerd and he's already done for. <laughs> Knowing my luck, he played Necropolis and- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I have played a little bit of that. I should have kept it for myself after all. <laughs> yes, regret everything you've ever done. I love how you did your hair. 
Lies! They won't save you from your fate! I know, that's why I can be honest. Is that so? In that case, thank you, I guess! <laughs> now back to suffering! <laughs> Alright, cool. Round four, because... Oh, it, okay, round Omega. Fuck. Oh, great. This is Undertale levels of <laughs> difficulty here. Oh, yep, yep. Come on. Boo! Boo! Suck it! <laughs> what if I just stay in the back, in the back bottom corner here? Would I consider myself a weeb or a casual anime fan? It's probably more of a casual anime fan, to be completely honest. I'm gonna try and stay in the bottom right corner. It's kind of working so far. My goal is to stay down here as far as I can. Ow, fuck. Oh, come on! Whoa! What oh, the shit? What? Get, get the fuck away from me. Oh! No! Oh. Ah, oh, come on! Fuck, that, nope. Okay, I got it, round Omega. Woo! Any last words before the real pain begins? Uh, being punished by you makes all the sins worth it. Eh, I'm not a sub. Only thing I regret is not seeking you sooner! Quit your cheap flatteries, you make my job difficult! <laughs> but damn, you have amazing eyes. <laughs> Look, I don't really want to do this, but the pact's been sealed. Nothing will prevent your damnation. However, I could postpone your torment a few years if you leave and never disturb hell again. Uh, but then I wouldn't be able to see your pretty face. Our fates are one. I will kill you when you'll suffer, but it does not have to be today. So consider yourself lucky and get out of my sight. Oh, but you're, you're the cherry on top. I said you were free to go. Be gone. <laughs> what, you want to you want to invite me to your harem? Don't be ridiculous. You'd share a roof with an immortal avatar of pain, blood sworn to murder you through torture? Wouldn't want it. <laughs> I have worsened my harem already. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want it any other way, baby. Without you, it's incomplete. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Seeing how far off proper ritual we already are already, I might as well give it a shot. Babe got. Helltaker. Journey's coming to an end. You, know, you successfully took girls from hell, and was henceforth known as the Hell Taker. It was, however, not an easy life to live. <laughs> it was sure to be short and full of suffering. Why would I have chosen this life for myself? But life full of suffering. <laughs> but life is full of suffering no matter how you live it. So you might as well have some fun while you're at it. Yeah, some people don't have knives in their back, but they also don't have women, so it's a trade-off. <laughs> Alright. Oh, boy. Now you need to talk to everybody. Another batch of pancakes done, I see. And it's so good! Thanks for the help. Don't mention it, it's the least I can do. <laughs> Thanks, Riorin! Multiple Ch subs were Jeeps. gifted. Riorin with a slew of subs being gifted, as is the way he does things. Always on a roll. Jeez. I still can't figure out how you get them perfectly thin every time. And the way you spin them in the air, that must be some sorcery involved. Experience, I've made pancakes a lot. Give everyone their pancakes. All right, can do. Here you go. Pancakes. pancakes. <laughs> they look kind of like burritos, whatever. They're like crepes. Yeah. Are you reading a romantic comedy? Never heard of romance before. It's the kinkiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Maybe I've been doing it wrong all this time. Well, wanna go on a date? I've always known you were a perverted degenerate. <laughs> Pancakes. Awesome, got a question though. Shoot. The girls say you never take off your shades. Why is that? I could ask you the same. Oh, uh, me? It's because I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> That's my story. Care to share yours? Get it, because she's justice. Oh, justice is blind. I uh, get it. Nice. Maybe one day. <laughs> the face. MP3, or MP3, MP34 wants to know if we're going to do the secret ending. There's a secret ending to this? Yeah, I can I can tell you how to do it. All right, maybe I have to solve that puzzle I skipped. Nope. The girls are just taking, they're already taking bets. I'm losing 10 bucks if you don't have laser vision. Not losing money then, I guess. Pancakes and coffee. Yum. The third, the tired demon no longer. Is it over extracted again? It's quite all right, actually. You even filtered it properly this time. Keep it up, and you might still survive the day with no broken fingers. Yeah. But do feel free to mess it up. The local hospital proved quite competent so far. 
Next one is a double espresso, yes. Your dad remembered, not mine! Pandemonic is kind of a bitch. <laughs> Pancakes. You know how hard it is to find new turn-based strategies we can play? Almost everything mankind produces is either half-assed or a, a half-assed sequel or a shitty rip-off. Yup. I would like to play them anyway. Same here, unfortunately. We need lockets of alcohol. I like her too. Pancakes. Sure, but I could use some fire. Oh, she's smoking. Again. That ain't good for you. You're gonna die. No smoking in the house. Or what? You'll punish me? Go ahead. I've been a very bad girl. You'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? Screw yourself. <laughs> what is it, Tuesday? All right, this is just, this rule is kind of cute. Pancakes. How long have I been here? A few weeks. Feels like forever. The things I've seen, the things I've done, I'm chased no more. I could write a spectacular paper on this, but nobody would believe me. It's just too surreal. Oh. And my research has barely scratched the surface. Want to join me in my studies today? You study too much. Eat pancakes. Hey, girls. We messed up. Harassing neighbors again? What'd you do? Mm, ellipses. Why is there police at the door? Ellipses. Don't go to the door again. <laughs> Pancakes. Trespassers seek to invade our domain. Should I dispose of them? No need. I'll take care of it. Okay, have fun. Rum, rum, rum. I think you can go. Oh, no, you can't go upstairs. Go to. Kick, 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 kick. Go to this and then draw a uh, move to all the points of the star. I don't know where you're supposed to start. Are you supposed to maybe start at the top? Oh, that was that was you the directions, got it randomly. Right. No, I was reading the directions. Oh, okay. Thank you. The single soul for those directions. All right, so I guess this is the alternate ending. Yeah, go to the portal. Hey, it's what? Beelzebub. What is this? Did someone open a portal? <laughs> Did someone open the portal at last? <laughs> Greetings, little one. I am Beelzebub. And you must be the chosen one, the king of hell. I guess. That means I am nothing but your humble servant. Oh, okay. I never had a fly be a servant. Enter this gateway and take your rightful throne. Hey, is this a one-way banishment portal? Fuck! <laughs> Beal, and here I hoped I'd never see your face again. Feelings mutual, my dear Lucy. Old friend of yours. Don't believe a single word from Beal's above the exile. Most dangerous kind of demon, forever sealed inside the abyss. Ask Justice. She was the high school prosecutor back then. It was awesome! Wish you'd seen that epic battle! If you step through the portal, your soul will get imprisoned too. Only madness waits for you there. I've been here for quite some time and found no madness yet. Quite disappointing, really. A bit of mad would be refreshing. All you can find here is darkness and loneliness. Just ignore this past. I'll close the portal after dinner. I'll get out one day. We'll be ready. With pancakes, probably. All right. So... I guess I could go up into the portal or down to the police car. Yeah, either one. So what do they even want? Is it sexy? Oh. Hey! Police, open the door! I guess they are sexy, yeah. Hey, wanna join my harem? Uh, nope. <laughs> no, you're in there! Open the door now! No, thank you. <laughs> you, oh. find yourself you find yourself surrounded by the void. Mm, may have been a bad choice. Shades of darkness you never knew existed. You feel rather than see them. Sight is no longer a concept. Ooh. Then you are suddenly sick. With every illness known to man. Oh, no. But you are not dying. Death is no longer a concept either. Hooray. You hear the buzzing. Thousands of flies swarm around you. Then a cloying wave hits you. The sweet smell is overwhelming. Unbearable. It's enough to make a man sick. Mm. Yet over the years to come, you'll learn to love it. Well, damn. Should have gone with the police. Then I would have been able to come home into my harem. What is it now? Wait, what? What? How did? How did you? Ellipses. I simply can't believe you just did that. <laughs> you really thought that? You really bought that King of Hell crap? No, that simply can't be it. So why? Wait, I don't. I really. I don't think I really want to know. Without you, my harem's not complete. Since we find ourselves stuck here for the foreseeable future. I think a proper introduction should be made. I guess. I have many names. The Sovereign of Pestilence. The Warden of Decay. The Mistress of Flies. The... The Mistress. <laughs> Wait, where are my manners? I have a guest. I should make myself more presentable. 
<laughs> of course. Here, I think you'll find this form a little more comfortable to converse with. Excellent with it. Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, yes. Also known as the Mistress of Flies and the Queen Crimson. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice crimson dress. I do love it. Welcome to the abyss. Make yourself at home. A little less lonely with you here. Here's an idea. I'll show you around my castle. I think you'll love what I did with the place. Uh, this is going to be a good damned eternity. Why, yes, I've built it myself. <laughs> you'll be surprised what kind of stuff can be made from the very fabric of darkness. <laughs> Abyssal exile makes you see seek the weirdest hobbies. <laughs> hey, I just noticed... You brought something with you. If I knew you could do that, I'd ask for some sweets. Demons love sugar. Uh, pancakes. <laughs> Ellipses. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> and that was the story of the Helltaker. Narrated for you by good old Beelzebub. Please forgive this little self-insert at the end. I know, I know. It was... Not supposed to be a story about me, but I just couldn't help myself. You may have questions, I assume. Had this really happened? Where's the Helltaker now? Maybe you are the Helltaker. You just forgot after all these years in the abyss. Or maybe you don't even exist, and, and I'm just a poor old fly talking to herself. For the sake of the story, some questions are better left unanswered. Until next, the end. Helltaker! All right, that was a shorter game than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it wasn't a very long game. Yeah. I also had no idea what it was gonna be, but all right. That was fun. And that was Helltaker, everybody. Yeah, enjoyable. Is there anything else you desire? New game, chapter select or exit. <laughs> and I'm not going to do those puzzles. It did kind of pull a brutal legend in the middle where, uh, kind of the first ten puzzles, it, it was a puzzle game, and then it became a bullet hell game. It, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little weird, but it's still fun. Yeah, but if you're good at one genre but not the other, I mean, if, you, if you're really good at puzzle games but you're absolutely terrible at bullet hell games it's kind of a kick in the crotch but luckily for me i'm decent enough with either uncle russian says did we fuck beelzebub <laughs> do we fuck a fly <laughs> i've tried many times haven't found success so far that that's that <laughs> thanks OneDrive. yes yes thank you i appreciate that that interruption was nice thank, thank you me. OneDrive. <laughs> they duct tape up her wound no you don't duct tape up a wound. you gotta cauterize it <laughs> Is this guy dead? Oh, it's Samuel! That's not Samuel. That's that guy that you saw get his head. Oh. Do you have the memory of a goldfish? <laughs> Hold on, I can't figure out where I'm supposed to go. My waypoint is on fire. <laughs> oh, God.